Ah. Hello, hello, everyone. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah. It's great. I really need to learn to not update emulators before a stream. Ever. <laughs> I need to get that in my head, but I'm so used to doing updates for emulators that it's just a normal thing that I do by nature. But I really need to stop doing it before streams and just leave it on the current version it's on because it always breaks something. 100% guarantee to always break something. So, uh, yeah, in this case, <laughs> it completely broke Nightfire. <laughs> That was a right pain in the ass to sort out. I'm not gonna lie, that really was a pain in the ass. It broke the memory card system, so I couldn't load any or create, by the way, any profiles on this at all, which was a bit of a problem. So uh, yeah, anyway, I managed to fix it. I just created a whole new memory card just for this one game, so I now have this random memory card just chilling on its own, <laughs> all for the fire. <laughs> <laughs> but I had no choice. It was the only way to get the thing to actually let me do anything. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's just the way it goes. Anyway, um, here we are. So, yes, James Bond Nightfire. Now, I want to make it very clear here. We're playing Nightfire on the console port and not the PC port. I need to make that very clear because they're both very different games. One is good and one is not so good. Can you guess which one is the not so good one and which one is the good one? I'll let you decide, but I'm pretty sure you could probably figure it out. Anyway, here we are. So, Nightfire. So, things that I need to go through here. We're going to go through as much of this as possible. Possibly the whole game. We'll see how we get on. The other thing I need to go through here is due to the unfortunate reality that is James Bond being copyrighted music. I will need to mute every single cutscene in the game, and I don't have a choice in the matter, sorry. Uh, I wish developers would be better at muting music in cutscenes and not just in gameplay, but here we are. Anyway, um, what I have done is I turned on the subtitles for you lot, so even though you won't be able to hear the talking and everything in the cutscenes, you will at least be able to read it. So you'll just have to put up with that, I'm afraid. There's literally nothing more I can do about it. So, cutscenes will be muted, the rest of it is fine, and we're all good to go. The other thing as well I need to mention is, if I'm really not that great at this, it's because the aim speed on this is so bad, it's so slow, and I can't turn it up anywhere. It is horrible. So, if I feel like I'm not getting to kill things quickly, like I'm used to in modern day gaming, that'll be why. But I'm sure I'll get used to it over time. Give me a bit. <laughs> Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything I need to talk about regarding Nightfire. <laughs> Either way, this is the first time we're ever covering James Bond on the channel, and I'm super happy to cover Nightfire of all games, because I think this is personally the best James Bond game ever made. The console port of this, that is. Um, but GoldenEye and From Russia Would Love, Everything or Nothing, all great games too. But yeah, this is the beast. Anyway... <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I see everyone's popping in, so hi John, hello Chip, Fly, uh, Jump Scare, yeah, Jump Scare me indeed. James, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's nice to see you all, nice to see you all. Right, anyway, I didn't know the PC one was different. It is, yes, the PC one is a completely different port. The Nightfire port on PC is made by um, Gearbox, the lot that made Borderlands. Now that might sound good, but then they also made Duke Nukem Forever and Aliens, Colonial Marines and many other games that are not so great. So there you go. Anyway, we're going to do the tutorial mission and I'm going to mute the game because it's got copyright content on the cutscenes. And yeah, we should be all good to go. Hopefully today as well, the stream will stay stable. I'm hoping it will stay stable. We'll see how we get on. I think it's honestly to do with the emulator though, by the way, that it's not so stable last time when I was looking at it. Because I tried doing some test streams of other stuff and they're all fine. But with this, it's a bit hit or miss, so we'll see how we get on. Um, problem with, you know, having, shall we say, unstable beta builds. <laughs> it's just kind of how it goes. Yeah. Nah, we're not having any dubs, Mike. We're not having any dubs, but welcome to the stream. 
It's interesting the cutscenes are randomly like half in the air a little bit here. <laughs> I'm loving the pixelation of the cutscenes though. They look great. <laughs> Right, I can unmute it now. There we go. Get me closer to the road. I have no idea, by the way, why. The, oh my god, what the hell? Why can I not move the sniper? Ah, that's horrible. What the hell? Why can't I move this? Uh, what? I can't move the sniper scope. The hell? <laughs> I can't move it. I can only zoom in and out. What? Get me closer to the oh, road. I can move it, but good Christ, that's slow. Oh my god, that's horrible. I don't know if that's actually usable, if I'm honest. Oh my god, that is dreadful. I can't do this with something that slow. It barely even moves. I knew it was slow, this movement and everything, but I think the emulator might have broken this game, the by road. the way, on the most up-to-date things, so we might be a bit screwed. This is horrible. You must protect the huh. This is terrible. Why is that so slow? Good Christ. <laughs> That's like playing on like 0.1 sensitivity. This is how awful this feels right now. Oh my days. I can't stand this. <laughs> wow. This is impossible. I don't think I'm going to be able to play this level, guys. I think we're screwed, to be honest, with this one. Also, I don't know why it's got weird lines across the screen all of a sudden. I really shouldn't have updated this emulator. <laughs> that was a mistake, updating this emulator before the stream. It actually was in a much better state, this game, before updating this freaking emulator. I made a mistake updating it. Good God. Wow. If it's going to be this slow on the sensitivity, I'm in for a hell of a ride for the rest of this game. <laughs> oh dear. From Russia with Love is a great game. If you've never played From Russia with Love, it's a really good game. I recommend it. To be fair, if this game is this broken, we might end up going and playing From Russia with Love. But we'll see how we get on. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to mute it again, aren't I? Yep. There you go. There's a lot of different James Bond games out there, and I know that most people probably haven't played them, but they're actually really good. Basically, if you were in the EA time period of James Bond, there's some pretty damn good games. It's impressive how many good games there were for James Bond in EA's time period. And then Activision did it, and they made mm, kind of one good game, I guess two, if you count Blood Bloodstone. It is Bloodstone, isn't it? I think so. But anyway, that one was like average. Quantum of Solace I actually quite liked. I thought that was a good game. Made by Treyarch, so that's why it's better. Uh, <laughs> then there was the GoldenEye reboot. I guess I'll call it a reboot, which was not great. <laughs> and then there's 007 Legends, which most people try to forget exists. <laughs> Smoke screen online. Whoa, okay, right. Oh, the sensitivity is so much nicer in the car. <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea. Oh, I like the sensitivity here in the car. This is beautiful. <laughs> I love the uh, blatant, you know, just arrows on the truck and everything there. That's great. Whoa. Up ahead. Q -wedge online. Must intercept the truck before it reaches its target. I would love to know why there are all these lines on the screen all of a sudden when there weren't earlier. It's kind of horrible to look at. <laughs> but oh well. Christ knows what they've done in the updates to make that happen. I literally couldn't even tell you what they would have done to make that happen. Missiles will detonate the bomb, 007. Use the EMP projectiles. EMP online. And we're done, and then I have to mute it again. <laughs> 
Alex speedrunning this. I don't know if I'm quite speedrunning it. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a very long time now, actually. It's a really good game, though. I like this game. I used to play it all the time when I was younger. Nightfire. It was like one of the key games for me on PS2 back in the days. It's a great game. But, um, yeah, you know, it's one of those games that I guess I probably will have some core memory of. Um, oh, gold, I'll take it. Considering how bad the sniping was, I'll take it. <laughs> and let's see if I can actually save it. I'm going to be curious. W will it work? Hey, it actually did work. Okay, good. The memory card is actually functional. I'm glad it's functional. <laughs> Uh, still got my copy but then again I still have all my copies indeed everyone should own a copy of Nightfire and if you don't even if you don't have the hardware just go and buy it <laughs> just go and buy it put it on your shelf and feel proud that you own James Bond Nightfire <laughs> oh dear right now I have to confess this next level yeah, so let me look through this again because I remember quite a bit of this game. This level, The Exchange, one of the most awesome levels of all time. I love this level. Probably one of my favourites in the game, if not my favourite. Um, that one was alright. That one's okay. Double Cross is a good level. I like Double Cross. Night Shift I actually quite like. I know a lot of people hate it, but I think it's quite good. Uh, Chain Reaction is an awesome level. Phoenix Fire is a great level. This level, I hate it with a passion and I think everyone that's played it hates this level with a passion mainly because it doesn't have any checkpoints in it so if you make one mistake you have to start the whole thing from the start again and it's quite brutal but it's still you know it's one of those levels that's just there to piss you off <laughs> island infiltration yeah all right I guess countdown was quite a good level and then equinox that's a good level Right, the exchange. Let's go. I love this level. This level's great. Do, 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 do. You could play the Moss Eisley Cantina band music instead. Oh, yeah. Totally wouldn't be copyrighted, would it? <laughs> Interesting that the cutscene here looks a lot better than the first mission. No idea why it's working better here than it was on the other one, but there we go. <sighs> Honestly, if you compare this level on this port compared to the PC port, it's kind of a mind-blowing difference between the two. Like, this one actually feels well-made. It feels like it has good stealth design to it, as well as, like, different routes and things. And then you play the PC port version, and the bit that, ironically enough, is meant to be stealthy, where you're supposed to, like, get in the back of a truck normally and that. <laughs> you can't even do that and if you do get in the back of the truck it then glitches out and flings your body outside the map <laughs> it's uh, it's quite an amusing sight to say the very least I, I have to confess I do have a good laugh at it <laughs> it's one of those ports right now what's the there we go yes oh my god that is slow <laughs> so slow oh my day look at the speed of this that is dreadful. Okay, I'm really not looking forward to having to aim in this game. Hello, buddy. Thanks for the gun. Look at that lovely face. Goodbye. Anyway. So, yeah, you're normally meant to jump inside this truck. But, obviously, we're not doing that. Oh, whoops. There's me trying to uh, <laughs> push L2 when I can't do that. It's L1. Uh, right. Yoink. interesting that he's over there. I swear he's normally over on the left. Uh, don't know. Anyway. I, c 
can't move forwards when I'm aiming with a sniper. That's not at all painful. <laughs> right. God, it feels weird listening to this level without any music, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there we go. Uh -huh. The GameCube uh, game I love playing is Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup and Spider Man 2002. Yeah, Quidditch World Cup is. Um, that's actually a really awesome game. Which I play on the PC, to be fair. But yeah, it's a good game. And Spider Man 2002 is one of those intriguing games. I personally quite like the game. I think it definitely. Has not aged the greatest, but it is still actually quite a fun game. It's one of those games that also I consider you kind of have to really get used to the controls a bit. <laughs> the combat in it is questionable. That's what I'll say, it's questionable. But I still love the game, I think it's a good game. Oh, I love the way the footprints are floating in the air. I never noticed this before. <laughs> That's quite funny. Also, I like the way the footprints actually stay. That's intriguing. But then when I walk around, there are no footprints. So that's a bit awkward. <laughs> right, let's go. Simpsons hit and run. Hmm. Hast du das gehört? Das kam von der Wand da drüben. Siehst du was? Nein. Yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run actually is quite an expensive game now. It's becoming a lot more expensive, Simpsons Hit and Run. I'll tell you what I didn't expect to see the other day, though. This kind of shocked me. Is um, Crash of the Titans and Crash Mind Over Mutant on the Xbox 360 and PS3 are insanely expensive now. <laughs> They're really expensive. Which is kind of odd. I'm not sure why they're so expensive, considering they're not exactly the most, shall we say, popular games. But here we are. They are really expensive. It's crazy how expensive they are. Uh, right, there we go. I don't understand why earlier for the first level we had a smaller screen for the cutscenes and it was just covered in lines. But then when we play this level, it's absolutely fine. Literally don't know what they've done in this update for this build to break this game so much, but there we are. I don't know. Oi, thank you. Oh god, this is weird. I'm so used to doing this bit with the music and timing it with the music. I've got to now do this bit without timing it to the music. This is horrible. Oh no, <laughs> I've got to time this whole section without music. This is going to suck. Um... How quickly does this guy turn around? I'm not sure how quickly he turns around. One of them turns around really fast when they walk past this window, and I don't know which one it is. Please be the one that doesn't turn around quickly. Go, 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 go. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Right, well that worked. Never played Spider-Man 2002 on the PS2. They're exactly the same GameCube and uh, PS2 port of the game. It's just the controllers are different, that's all. But the same game. The game is different on the Xbox original as it has two exclusive levels to it. It's got Craven the Hunter in it, the Xbox port. And there's like two levels dedicated to Craven. Those levels are set in between basically the end of Scorpion mission when he runs off and then basically when the green goblin is first introduced that's where those are set okay go 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 hey we did it get in there so yeah there's those two levels and actually it's interesting because if you play the xbox port and you play those two grave and the hunter levels you then realise just how out of context the other two ports feel without those levels. Whee. Right. 
There are so many different ways that you can do this level at the beginning here. This is the more stealthy route that's uh, generally quite interesting. But you can just sit in the back of the truck or you can just, you know, run in, so on. It's cool. I like it. I like the differences. They're good. Right, let's go. All right. <sighs> Um, those are awesome games on the GameCube. Mm. Spider-Man 2 is a great game. In general. Well, except for the PC port. <laughs> but other than the PC port, it's a great game. That was like the time period with this game and Spider-Man 2 where they just really went as cheap as possible on PC and it was kind of hilarious. Because you get some awful ports. Ooh, hang on. Tell you what. It's alright. Right, where's the other one? Oh my god, why is it so fast when I look up and down, but it's awful when I look left and right? It's painful. Right, now I know there's a guy normally out. There he is. Wee. There we go. Back to the pistol. Right, where's this guy? There he is. There we go. Do that. And that. Oh, there is actually a guy up there. I didn't think there was. Not to worry. He's dead. Right, now there's... The guy there by the water fountain. You could get a like funny quote from James Bond usually when you kill this guy. Oh my god, this is horrible to aim with. It's so weirdly sensitive. I'd give that diver three, actually. There we go, get some shields. I can never actually remember which one of these is actually correct. I can't remember if they like try to trick you with this and make the red ones actually the correct one. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, let me read the chat quick. Uh, I agree. I felt like Spider-Man 2002's controls were more similar to PS1 games. Yeah, they were. I mean, Spider-Man 2002's basic... Well, I mean, the whole concept of it is basically the PS1 games. I mean, even like the whole swinging in the air and, you know, not being able to touch the floor like in the city or else you die and stuff like that. It's all same idea, basically. Um, but the controls, they just basically took the PS1 controls and put them onto a PS2 game. And I'm going to be honest, it didn't really work. <laughs> it was fine for a PS1, not so much for a PS2. Uh, I never played Spider-Man 2, 2002 on the PS2. Um, actually, Alex, yeah, didn't they do something similar with Spider-Man 3, PS2 and Xbox, adding levels, opponents... It yeah, I mean, the uh, PS2 and PSP port of Spider-Man 3 are made by a different company. I'm trying to remember who made it now. Was it BNOX or Raven? I can't remember. It was one of them, I think. Um, yeah, they introduced Morbius and Shriek as unique enemies for that port. And then on the console port, you had... What did you have? You had Rhino... Scorpion, Kingpin. Who else was unique? Um, no, he wasn't unique. I can't remember who else might have been unique. But anyway, you had those lot. I hope it's the green wire, but I truly can't remember if it's green or red. Please be green. It's green, good. 
you never know with these games when they like to try and catch you out. You'd be surprised how often devs like to do that. But yeah, that's all I can really remember of Spider-Man for his, you know, differences. Um, obviously, like, you know, for those villains like Rhino and that, they're different levels. But also I'd argue that obviously the important main one, if you like, is... Um, you know, the major console on like 360 and PS3 and that, because, of course, they're continuing the story of Rhino from Spider-Man 2, same with Scorpion from Spider-Man 1, stuff like that. So, yeah, they have their unique differences, and in some ways I always quite liked that when I was younger. It was nice to kind of play a game on a different system and actually get a slightly different experience, or, in the case of HP, a completely different one. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go. Hello, my fellow chums. Hey, we're not chums, but welcome, Winch. It's nice to see you. I knew you'd probably get excited seeing the name James Bond and Nightfire appear. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, welcome to the stream. But also, Mel, nice to see you. How you doing? Right. I'll tell you what I did manage to grab the other day, you guys. I managed to grab a pretty rare gem from... Uh, the lovely world of Ebay's, and that is basically Dino Crisis 3, which is actually called Gun Survivor 3. It was only ever made in Japan, which was interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ, hello. Thought it was only the one guy. Come on then. I'm not too worried about losing health, to be honest. There is an armoured vest literally behind me. But yes, anyway, you could get the um, Dino Crisis 3 as a gun survivor. It was basically called Gun Survivor 3 because you had Gun Survivor for Resident Evil 1. Oh, not Resident Evil 1, sorry. Resident Evil Survivor, which was called Gun Survivor in Japan. I have to like, remember the two different freaking countries' names now. <laughs> it's always great fun trying to do this. Then you had uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica 2, I think they called it, or something like that, which was basically Gun Survivor 2, and then you had Dino Crisis 3, which is basically Gun Survivor 3. It was all very intriguing. And then, of course, if you really want to count it, then there's Resident Evil Dead Aim, which is, like, I guess 2.5 or something out of the gun survivors it never got called gun survivor though but it's basically a part of the same sort of series anyway uh yeah but yeah it was really cool to actually be able to get that so i'm quite happy with that I'm looking forward to trying it. I quite liked Dino Crisis when I was younger. Um, but I never played Dino Crisis 3. I only played 1 and 2. Lovely. Ah, right. Hang on a minute. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. Thanks, Mel. I'm doing alright. Got a full-on dedicated memory card just for this one game at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing alright. You're a bit ill, are you, John? What's wrong with you? Have you got the flu? You got what I had a little while ago. <laughs> Which was not particularly great. Right, I'm pretty sure there's one guy down here somewhere. Where is he? There he is! I knew there was another guy down here. Oh, there's two. Okay, I didn't know there was another one. I thought there was only two of them, but fair enough. Right, nice. See you later, farmer. Ich nicht schnitt ge farm, or whatever you say. <laughs> semi or burst? I mean, I can't remember what was more powerful with this gun. I think it was semi. Right, um, is it worth going to get the armor? Yeah, go on, we'll go and grab the armor quick. I have to remember that square is to open doors and interact with things and not X, which I have been used to for how many freaking years now that it's X and not a square? 
So it's always great when you have to remember the old days. <laughs> it's so fun. Especially when they use triangle to go back instead of circle. <laughs> That's always good fun. Oh, I love it. I'm going to have to remember all these things in my head now. Right. Let's go. Oh, there is a guy up there. You're right, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's the opening door sound. It's great fun. Actually, to be fair, I'm about to lose this gun anyway because we have to lose it in order to go into the, uh, well, blend in section, I guess we'll call that. We've confirmed that Agent Nightshade and the Deep Cover operative will rendezvous with you in the castle library. I trust you'll maintain a low profile, 007. Hay fever. Yeah, surprisingly, my hay fever hasn't kicked in at all yet, which is nice. I'm actually quite happy about that. Probably because of all the rain. And to all those people that want sun, I don't want you to have sun. I want endless rain. If you get endless rain, no pollen becomes a major issue. So, endless yes, rain, please. <laughs> Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. Oh, it feels so tempting to do something stupid here. I like the way with this, you could actually use this. Enjoy the party. You could just go like that. <laughs> and apparently this doesn't count as attacking people. I love it. <laughs> it's literally a laser. How is this yes. not attacking people? Also, there's budget Pierce Boston. <laughs> there he is. Hi there. Do I know you? Jesus Christ, all right, calm down. We don't all need to talk at once. Also, why are they so sm I'm, great party. I'm a freaking giant. Hi. This guy's like semi my height, and then I'm just Hello. like a huge giant compared to them. It's hilarious. Enjoy the party. Hello. Do I know you? Do I know you? <laughs> they have so many lines. Right, how do I get the camera out again? Oh, there we go. And then zooming in, it's, there we go. He looks so happy. <laughs> I love the way you could turn the camera into a freaking lighter. That, I mean, that's so cool. Enjoy the party. <laughs> Would you like a light? <laughs> he doesn't look very impressed, does he? He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Tell you what I will do quickly, guys. Uh, I will turn the game up a little bit for you. Because without the music, surprisingly, it's quite a quiet game. <laughs> but there we are. Right, uh, there you go. That should help. Hello, Kiko. I'm waiting for someone. Hello. Hello. This is so weird without music. You have no idea. Hello. Jesus, there's so many at once. It feels so odd without music, this section. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> it feels like an empty vacuum. Enjoy the party, sir. There he is. It's the one and only. How you doing, Brooke? Look at that lovely face. God. Enjoy the party, sir. <laughs> what is going where? I think the door's trying to close on me and it feels a little bit strange. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, you're right there, Brooke. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what has he done? I have never seen this happen in my life on Night Fiber. It's absolutely hilarious. I'm actually crying from that. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell just happened? He can't even get through the door now. <laughs> oh yeah, that was quite funny. That was very amusing. I like that. Oh dear. <laughs> The sun. Why would you want any sun, Mel? You don't need sun, it's fine. Sun is a terrible thing. <laughs> it brings out pollen. Oh, the M&Ms. 
the whole game feels off without music. It does feel strange, doesn't it? I agree, Mike. I actually can't get through the door. Um, this is a bit of a problem. Um, please let me through. I beg of you. <laughs> please. <laughs> I need to go through the door. <laughs> Brooke, what have you done? <laughs> For Christ's sake. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> He's just literally soft locked me, hasn't he, in this area? Fabulous. Right, let me guess. I'm going to have to, like, fail just to be able to go through this stupid door. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I can stun him through the door. Oh, I can! <laughs> oh, he pulled out a gun through the door. <laughs> In all fairness, that's quite amusing. Anyway, I've never ever managed to do that in my life on Nightfire, but that was absolutely hilarious. That was totally unexpected. I love it. That was great. <laughs> 007. The guests won't take kindly. Hopefully, to he doesn't do that again. Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. Yeah, all right, we're fine. We're doing it. I promise. Please, for the love of Christ, Rook, don't get stuck in the door again. <laughs> I beg of you. Yeah, come through the door, mate. Thank you. Not now. That's how I felt when you got stuck on the door, buddy. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. You better return to the party. Oh my god, look at them turn on the spot. They're like, hey, what do you think you're doing? No party guests in here, sir. But why not? <laughs> it's just a normal door, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't believe how much the music makes a difference in this game. Honestly, it really does make a difference. It's kind of a bit strange. <laughs> but there we are. It's just the way it goes, I suppose. What can I say? Thank you all for accepting my invitation this evening. Your generous gifts have ensured the success of our World Refugee Fund. Yeah, there was another M in the stream last Once time. Once again, my gratitude to all for making the journey here. And now, cocktails are waiting for you in the salon. <laughs> I have business to attend to. Play the hostess. <laughs> Play Piers Broston's version of SOS from Mamma Mia. <laughs> I'll have you know, by the way, that the music of this game is actually incredible. James Bond Nightfire's music is just on another level of awesome. It's actually really depressing that I cannot play it for you. Because it is so good. There they go. Get back here. <laughs> totally don't look suspicious shooting a laser at them, but there we are. Hello. <laughs> James. I guess I should probably let the cat out of the oh. Why does Boris always have to do this? You're the deep cover agent. Well, right, you can watch this. I'm going to go and get looks. the cat out of the room. Sorry to interrupt your debriefing, 007. Agent Nightshade, CIA. Dominique Paradis, French Intelligence. Mayhew's arrived with the stolen guidance device. Drake just went to the conference room. I would imagine he's meeting Mayhew there. Take this key. You won't get far without it. I'd better get back to the party before I am missed. Chip, you are not an M. MI6 wants surveillance. And you still haven't got your ice cream yet. <laughs> right. I'll create a distraction for you while you make your way to the conference room. Is that dress standard company issue, Nachi? Don't get any ideas, 007. It's armoured in all the right places. <clears throat> Bond, don't let Drake's men get in your way. Use whatever means necessary to get to that meeting. What guns have I got anyway? Just this, yeah. Alright, let's go. This does not feel right. 
Chip is an M in spirit. He still wants his ice cream, by the way, Mel. You need to give him his ice cream. He's very upset about the lack of ice cream. I heard he might be suing due to a lack of ice cream. Trust me, you don't want to be sued by Chip for a lack of ice cream. <laughs> I can't tell you honestly from playing this game so many times how wrong it feels just not hearing any music. It feels so wrong. I'll tell you what, let's do the triple blast. Hi guys. Definitely prefer the triple burst any day. Do 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 do. <laughs> Literally, that's the kind of music that it should be playing right now, and it feels strange not hearing it. I can't remember if the piano actually makes noise if you were to shoot it. Nah. Depressing. Oh well. Alright, let's, um... Yeah, go on, let's keep this out. Right, let's go. Can't wait till we get to the, uh, you know... Chinese or whatever it is, I think it's China level, where you just get to hear these <laughs> these Chinese thug-like guys just got to go, that's so stupid of ya. <laughs> it's like, okay. Speak a tiny bit of English in there, you know. Here it is, Mr. Drake. The missile guidance module we stole from the Americans. I trust this effort brings us one step closer to globalization. You've saved our technicians considerable time, Mayhew. Can we accelerate the other Nightfire elements as well? Absolutely, sir. We're well underway training assault teams for the... Get your hands off me! We caught on the hallway, sir. I was looking for the powder room. With lockpicks and the 9mm? Hey, it's a tough neighborhood. If this security breach leads back to Japan, it's your head, Mayhew. Secure this in the safe room. I doubt she's alone. Lock the castle down. Now! And take this woman to the cable car station. I don't want her interrogation to upset the guests. Interrogation? What kind of party is this anyway? Uh, to answer your question there, James, how is the game so far? Uh, pretty good. I mean, the first level was a bit broken, if I'm honest, um, on the emulator. But this one's actually working quite well, which is good, because it's a good level. But I have a horrible feeling the vehicle levels might be a bit of a pain in the arse while we play through this, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I also love this game anyway, so it's fine for me, either way. Uh, the other thing about what Mike asked regarding the copyright of the OST, every single James Bond game, all of the music from all of the games, I think the only one that isn't like that is the racing one, 007 Racing, but every other game... All the music, James Bond related music and also just the general game music is copyrighted. Every single one of them. So, yeah, unfortunately it sucks, I know, but it's just the way it goes. So, uh, yeah, copyrighted, I'm afraid. I.e. why we can't be playing the music right now. It's a little sad. Also, I see all the freaking emojis right there. Snack time. <laughs> Good job I have popcorn. Chip's now going to bring up a freaking popcorn related meme, is he? Ah, oh boy. Oh, my God. Okay. Frame rate. Hello. Oh, dear. That's not so fun. Jesus Christ. The frame rate. Why did that drop down so badly? Wow. That's horrible. <laughs> that's actually terrible. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go across. That's awful. Zap him. Zap him. Thank you. I need a gun. God, the frame rate's awful out here. Jesus. <laughs> it's a whole other level of just dropping down to two frames per second here. Right, that's a bit nicer. God. They've definitely not done this game many favours with updates on it lately. 
But that's alright. It will be fixed by the time we no longer are playing it. I swear to God, mate, if you're just going to break the door again, I'm going to be so pissed. I'll piss off a breathy. Hang on. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, get out of the way of the door. Doors in this right now are a bit broken. <laughs> Laser. Gun. Ah, I've run out of ammo. Are you kidding me? Seriously? I'm out of the room. How did that stun me? Really? I got stunned by that. I can't believe I got stunned by that. I was out the freaking room. <laughs> oh, God. All right. There we go. Got to love a bit of awful sensitivity. There we go. Right, nice. Okay, let's go. We've almost done this level, by the way, guys. Hello. Mind me a minute. Whew, right. This game could do with a um, solid remaster. It'll never get one, but it could do with one. The main reason it could do with one is because uh, <laughs> the controls feel so clunky compared to uh, like anything of today. They really do. Still an awesome game either way, but yeah. Ooh, hello. Wow. Come on, reload. Thank you. I love the way you can go to like these little secret areas down here. I think it's quite cool. There's nothing really down here other than enemies, but it's still interesting. It's weird that there is nothing down here. You kind of think that they put some kind of secret down there, but nope. No secret. No secret at all. Alright, let's go. Oh, she's there. I thought she just vanished. <laughs> I was like, where the hell is Zoe gone? But no, she just decided, let's just do the most incredible crouch I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh god, the sensitivity is so bad. <laughs> Alex, who is the best James Bond? I mean, it kind of depends in a lot of ways, I would say, with, you know, what films they did and so on. So for me, I'd probably have to say Piers Brosnan. I do think he is also a really good James Bond, so actually, yeah, I think he is probably the best one. But then again, you know, there are some other James Bond actors that did an extremely good job. Like Sean Connery was very good. Roger Moore was very good. Where is it? There it is. And done. Oh wait, he needs one more hit. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't expecting that. There we go. And now I have to mute it. In some ways, I also have to look at the fact that a lot of the Piers Broston stuff for me as well is not just his movies, it's what he did game-wise as well. I mean, his games are just top-notch. Um, I'm amazed I got a gold flat in all fairness. But anyway, yeah, his um, games are incredible. He just absolutely dominated on the gaming market for James Bond, quite frankly, Piers Broston. Um, film-wise, Gold Knight was a very good film. Die Another Day I actually quite liked, to be fair. It wasn't 
over the top brilliant, but it was still a decent film. Um, Tomorrow Never Dies, I didn't mind. That one, I guess, is probably his not as best one. And then The World Is Not Enough, I actually quite like that, to be fair. So there you go. I would have said, you know, Daniel Craig is a decent James Bond, and he is, in all fairness, a decent James Bond, but my problem with him, I think, is he's just a bit too serious, and in all fairness for me, when it comes to Daniel Craig, he has got really not great games, for the most part, out of his unique games, should we say, and as for you know, when it comes to the movie perspective, the only film of his I actually really did like much was Casino Royale. And unfortunately, I kind of feel like if I hadn't seen Casino Royale first, I might have liked his other movies a bit more. But because Casino Royale was just actually an incredibly good film, it kind of puts his other films to shame a little bit. <laughs> um, but there we go. I do think, you know, some of his other films were all right. Like Skyfall was pretty decent, I suppose. Quantum of Solace was extremely mediocre as a film, but as a game was really good. Um, then Spectre I wasn't a fan of, and the last film that he did, I can't remember its name now. I wasn't a big fan of that either. But I, I love his first film, Casino Royale. It's a freaking awesome movie. They would. I don't think they'll ever top that, to be honest. But who knows? Maybe they will. Wasn't it rumoured the next one would be a woman or what? But it's not a woman. <laughs> the next James Bond is not a woman. Uh, have they made a mouse aiming mod for these games? They probably might have done, I guess, on the dolphin emulator. I don't know. I've never looked, to be brutally honest, but maybe. <laughs> and also, yeah, hello, Dan. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Bond as a woman would be different. Bond as a woman wouldn't be James Bond. Let's be real here. Yeah, Bond as a woman just... I mean, it wouldn't work. You could have a different agent, you know, as a woman, which they've done multiple times, sure. But actual Bond as a woman, no. It just wouldn't work. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of what he actually... I guess it is <laughs> a lot of the time, so it would just be a bit strange. Right, this one's a vehicle level, which I hope works well. If not, I will cry inside. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I pray the sensitivity on this one's going to be all right. I think the vehicle levels are just broken for the cutscenes and stuff. That's why they got the lines. Looks like it. Oh, well. Nothing like a bit of cold tea. Right, let's go. Oh god, that sensitivity is dreadful. Oh my god, that is bad. Oh my days, this is horrible. Yep, yeah, we change please. Thank you. Oh my days, this is awful. Why are they so slow? Incredible how slow they are. I had to do that. I was just sitting there waiting for me to do it for too long. Oh, hang on a minute. It'll take me like 15 years to turn to get to you, but I'll be right there. Got it. Nice, let's go. Did I read Young Bond? Yeah, I read some of the Young Bond novels when I was younger. Hurricane gold and stuff like that. 
I thought Young Bond was actually quite good in book form. I'm surprised they've never actually made Young Bond into like actual, you know, video format in any shape or form. Seems a bit strange. Maybe one day. <laughs> oh god, there is one behind one. Uh, I thought they were going to spawn in front. So yeah. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure they spawn in front. Look yeah. out, James! They're up ahead. Yeah, thought so. Ah, <sighs> right. Come on then, bring it on, mate. Why would you punch it when you could just go on a nice little stroll? How did he survive? I hope he didn't survive now, but still. <laughs> he survived for long enough. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll, I'll go to the left in a minute. It just takes about 15 years to turn to the left. <laughs> behind us, James. Oh, don't say behind. It takes too long to turn. <laughs> it's so slow. Right. I can't even turn to look at those people on the left, so we'll have to wait. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is where I have to blow up the gate. I remember this. Young Indiana Jones. Oh God. Maybe one day we'll see Young Indiana Jones. Who knows? There's a section in this where you drive through like a bar. I think we're coming up to it in a minute. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> we're in for a bumpy ride. Ooh, armor. I want that. <laughs> oh. Sorry, we forgot to make a reservation. <laughs> yeah, here's the bar bit. <laughs> Very normal, as you do. Phew. Looks like we shook him off. It's not over yet. Back into the woods. Uh. Any chance you want to, you know, drive a bit faster, Zoe? It's not like there's a lot of bumps here. <laughs> No, you don't say. Oh, there it is, the helicopter. Right, and now this is where I have to mute it. <laughs> but there you go. That's the end of that level. This is the most outrageous thing ever, but it looks freaking awesome. Totally, totally not outrageous. It does look really cool, that though. There's no denying it. Yeah, I would actually recommend that you read the Young Bond books. They're good. They honestly are actually really good. You're missing out if you don't read them. In particular, the one that I really remember out of the bunch, though, was Hurricane Gold. And not just because, of course, the book is gold, but it was just the best one overall. Um, but yeah, no, there are some good ones. Wait, what? <laughs> All I see when I read up the chat from Mel is, as I've only seen him <laughs> in Angus, Fongs, and Perfect Snogging. <laughs> Something you definitely don't expect to see when you turn your head to the right to read the chat. But there we are. <laughs> I suppose I should expect anything these days, really, from uh, Chip, Mel, all that. It's usually something random, isn't it? 
It's always to do with bacon, ice cream, <laughs> M&M gangs, that. <laughs> There's always something. Oh, dear. Anyway, this next level I actually quite enjoy. This is the driving level. Now, I hope it works well. It would be nice. Have I not seen it? I have seen it. <laughs> it's not that I haven't seen it. It's more than me turning and reading the chat just like that out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, but also, Mel, Chip was telling me for, like, the whole week that he really wants his ice cream, by the way. <laughs> he keeps like you know bringing it up every once in a while going I just want to get my ice cream <laughs> so you might need to give him his ice cream <laughs> right I can put the sound back on ok let's go uh, have we got the rockets out? yes we do ok 007 the local authorities are not to be harmed use your non-lethal weapons as a deterrent smoke screen online how do I look behind me in the... Oh, okay, I figured out how to do it. <laughs> oh, this level's so freaking good. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm a bit sideways. Right. Right. Now. Ah! You sods. How the hell did you manage to do that? How do I go backwards? That's uh, square. Right, thank you. Right, change to the freaking rocket launcher. Come on. Trying to avoid the civilians as best as possible is really quite challenging. Hello, goodbye. The local authorities mustn't be engaged. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not going to kill the local authorities, Em. It's fine. The only thing that's a little bit more challenging here is not the local authority, it's more the actual civilians. They're the ones in the way, but yeah, otherwise it's fine. No need to worry. Hello, local authorities. Goodbye, local authorities. <laughs> oh, damn. It will have to be virtual ice cream. <laughs> Chip definitely is going to need that ice cream now. He will not accept anything that. Oh my god, it's ice. I forgot how slippery this can be. Anyway, he will not accept anything less. So, oh Christ. Uh, it's not good when you get it out of control. It's horrible. <laughs> Chip, would you like some ice? I can't give you the cream bit, but I can give you the ice bit. I'm currently driving on it. <laughs> would you like it? Yeah, let's go. We've made it. Wee. Nice of you to join us, 007. We are oh, special. Heavens, what's that? Double O Seven, you must eliminate those helicopters if we are to make a safe extraction. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about the helicopters. They're not a big deal. Worry about you know all the freaking midget dudes on speeder bikes. Uh, right, where are they? You get rid of you. And oh my god, you survived that! Really? I'm impressed. Done it. Hey, we've done it. Welcome aboard, 007. I really enjoyed the driving sections in From Russian With Love. Yeah, the driving sections in From Russian With Love were actually very good. Honestly, I'd say the two top 
games for me for James Bond games are actually probably Nightfire and From Russia With Love. I don't think From Russia With Love gets as much love as it should do. It's a very hard game, don't get me wrong. At points, it is actually really difficult. But it is, honestly, a really solid game From Russia With Love. I think people should play it. I really do. People rave on about everything or nothing. And don't get me wrong, everything or nothing is actually a decent game. But... You know, to me, I do prefer From Russia With Love. I think the other thing for me is the fact that From Russia With Love, the film, is pretty boring and kind of not really anything particularly interesting. But then the game just took what was not really a great movie and made it actually quite decent. It just added so much more to it and made it a much better experience. Overall, I think From Russia With Love is a solid game and people definitely don't give it as much love as they should. But... Yeah, I mean, really, everything or nothing is decent. It still has its decent moments. Oh, yeah, we got ice cream. I'm happy now. <laughs> you got ice cream? How did you get ice cream? Was it in the memes chat by any chance? Oh, my God, yes, it was in the memes chat. Dear Lord, Mel has just given <laughs> Chip a load of ice cream. Freaking loaded. Put some ice cream on it <laughs> it's literally just loaded chip with ice cream everyone can chill now <laughs> no one can ever chill Mel that's not how it works this level is awesome by the way I love this level I can unmute it now. Pretty sure it should be alright. Saw so Daniel Craig's audition for Bond. Mm. He looked quite different. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ah, Mr. Bond, at last. This is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she's quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data may heal. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake. Quick, we must get to the security bunker. Used to play night, uh, not night. If I used to play from Russia with love co-op. Oh, I've got the gold gun. Wait, what? How <laughs> have I got the gold gun already? Okay, I have no idea how I managed to get the gold gun already, but it's kind of taken me by surprise that the hell? How have I got that already? It takes quite a lot to normally unlock that, I swear. Anyway, we got the golden gun. <laughs> That's really cool. I didn't think we would unlock that so early. I'm well happy now. There you go. That's like getting ice cream for me, but it's just a gold gun instead of ice cream. But anyway, there you go. Um, yeah, you used to play From Russia With Love co-op uh, in primary school. Yeah, to be honest, the co-op in From Russia With Love was always great fun. I'd say Nightfire and From Russia with Love Co-op were always great fun. Very enjoyable. I'm not going anywhere till you check the hallway. You okay there, buddy? Your mouth is, is having a moment. Oh yeah, the shaver. I forgot about the shaver. <laughs> Wait, have we lost the camera? No, oh, we lost the camera. I was gonna zoom in on his face, but I can't do it. Alright, sorry buddy. You're going to have to stand again. <laughs> Forever. Right, who's setting off the smoke bomb? That's so stupid of ya. Julia's your. Oh, there he is. Just casually strolling around. Can you not? Oh, I thought there was more cameras. I swear there was more normally, but there are. He's still got his mouth open. Yes, 
Right, I'm just gonna get. That's so stupid of you. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget this stuff. That was always way too much fun back in the day. How are you still alive? Jesus. Literally loaded you with ammo there. That's so stupid of you. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, yeah, the shotgun. I love the shotgun. To the right. Yes. Ooh, secret armor. I didn't even really know that was there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Also, attention to detail that they actually still keep the little slider bit on the front door actually intact and present. That's so cool. Most games probably would just put it in a cutscene and then forget it even exists. That's really cool to see it. I like it. I love this shotgun. Right, anyway, put the shotgun away. So he's still got his this mouth way. open. Oh, Jesus. Hang on, I will check your mouth in a minute. <laughs> Have you still got your mouth open? He has still got his mouth open. I <laughs> uh, love it. Ow, ow, ow. This way. We. Oh. Yeah, you go down there. The I'll be there in a minute, money. Uh, money? Buddy, even. Money? How did my brain come up with money? <laughs> oh well, anyway. Welcome to having a very tired brain. <laughs> it doesn't quite function fully all the time. It does its best, what can I say? Also, it's kind of cool you can see some of this stuff a little bit better now. You can even see this in a better detail. Granted, it still looks rough, but in a better detail, either way. This is impressive, though, all things considered. Whee! Uh, Alex is the man with the golden gun. I am literally the man with the golden gun now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Chip. Hope you like your mixed chocolate, blueberry, and lemon all what in one. What you're looking for <laughs> is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. <laughs> Up, bong guy. I've had enough of your crap. Has <laughs> he still got his mouth open? He's. Oh, no. He's closed his mouth. Well done. <laughs> Mayhew has been watching. <laughs> oh dear, Mike. Oh dear. <laughs> that dude looks high as hell. <laughs> He's not now because he's got his mouth closed. I wonder what this says. The ABC. <laughs> they really uh, thought long and hard about what to write on the packaging of this one, didn't they? ABC, I love it. You've got to write something, I suppose. <laughs> wonder if you can go this way again. Nah. I love the way in this game as well he just holds the gun like that sometimes when you're not like in full on action and stuff. It's so cool. Yeah, it's just tiny attention to detail like this that I always love about games. It's so nice. Right. Now. Don't mind me. I could have in theory just taken his gun there, but now oh well. Wait, what? Where's my gold gun gone? <laughs> the hell? Where is it? I surely haven't run out of ammo on the gold gun. Really? Alright, I guess I've run out of ammo on the gold gun. Well, that's a bit depressing. <laughs> um, There's so many of them. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just going to have to do this out in the open. I was going to try and stealth it, but I've run out of my gold gun. So I can't really do that. I 
can, however, go for a swim. Like this. You can't actually kill people when you're underwater annoyingly. This isn't like other games where you can shoot underwater. Granted, it doesn't really make sense to be shooting underwater anyway, but still. It's a nice thing. You know, we don't always want games to be realistic, do we? Uh, how can I not do this one here? That'll have to do. It's too difficult to uh, <laughs> aim in this game. Right. Uh, it's underwater, isn't it? You have to go underwater. Whee! Ladder time. Look at that. Sneaky little hideout, eh? Oh my god. Okay, right. You can even see the camera in here. Again, attention to detail. Look at that. Obviously, you can't blow it up, which is a bit depressing. But still, attention to detail. Remember that. Also, that water looks real healthy. Look at the greenness of that water in there. Right. Let's go for a swim. Um, nah, this... Oh, I've got ammo on this again. Nice. <laughs> Does this guy still not figured out I'm here? You're right there, buddy. Here, let me help you. <laughs> you saved How my do you life. not notice? How would I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large sake and one hell of a massage. What headset do you have? Um, I'm just using the Sony headset. The one with the PS5. I would, i like to add, use a better one. But the one that I currently have is good enough, shall we say. It gets the job done, but I would prefer a better one. This is just the one that literally is the bulk standard one with the PS5. Anyway, hopefully they won't run through the door there. <laughs> Poor people problems, no gold gun. No, it's fine, you'll be alright. You've got gold ice cream, there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Now no one's going to be able to uh, totally unsee that when it comes to looking at that ice cream picture inside the meme chat, are you? You're welcome. Now this is an artist, stop ladder time. <laughs> oh dear. I am indeed, thank you for that. Uh, just like the river Thames. wonder what they're saying, if you can speak Japanese. It's the silence. I mean, it might be the silence here indeed when I killed these two guys, but surely the guy would have noticed that his two mates had just died, but there we are. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think somebody did translate what these guys were saying at one time, but I can't remember what the hell it was, but I'm pretty sure somebody did translate it. Right, well the sniper's definitely seen me, so no need to be stealthy. I will put this away and get out my non-stealthy gun. Seriously? You didn't die? Thank you. Oh, lag. Why, why would we lag game? It's not helpful. Julia Zero. Well, I can figure out from the minimal, I guess, Japanese that I can understand that what is currently being said is, that's so stupid of you. <laughs> when they're saying, that's so stupid of you. But that's about all I could probably figure out. The rest is probably just, I don't know, kill, attack, <laughs> something like that. Wow. Oh, I've only got two bullets in this. Great. Anyone drop any ammo for this pistol? Oh my god. Anyone drop any ammo for the pistol? No. Alright. Time to use the shotgun. I like this shotgun a lot though. The shotgun is OP. I mean, look at that. 
absolutely wrecks these enemies. Shotgun's amazing. Right, anyway, there's his laptop. I can't remember if you have the Q bug thing in this level. I don't think you do. Nah. Right, hang on. There we go. That's so stupid of you. Julia Zero. Right. Actually, let's get the uh, pistol out. Hang on. Really? Yeah, how's it feel, buddy? Hello there, woman. <laughs> I've saved your life. You don't need to be sitting in that kind of position anymore. You can stand up now like your other friend in the sauna jacuzzi room. Which, by the way, you guys have got a weird vent system that people can crawl through. You might want to look into that. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> Not doing too badly. <laughs> I love these freaking doors. They look so cool. <laughs> Uh, is she actually not going to stand up? She's not going to stand up, is she? Really? I can't punch this. Seriously? Wow. I feel robbed. I can't even laser it. But I can do this. Oh, wow. Bulletproof glass for the win. You lot seem to have done well for yourselves. You've got bulletproof glass. Congratulations. Anyway, I'll see you later. Uh, let's get the... I think sniper out for the beginning of this bit is that a desert eagle it is a desert eagle I'm pretty sure <laughs> I believe it is a desert eagle are you able to shoot the hostages um, I think you can it's quite challenging to do it from my memory but you can do it the enemies definitely shoot the hostages though which is why you want to be careful to make sure that that doesn't happen because if it does you have to restart and it's not particularly very fun right um oh god hang on let's get the pistol back out again i'm sure you needed it for outside day but anyway whatever we could steal this guy's gun thank you how does it feel not great does it you know what <laughs> It is oddly very satisfying doing this. <laughs> anyway, um, just so you don't get up again. Oh, I can't headshot him. <laughs> oh my god, now that is a hell of an outfit. Wow, they look like freaking red Bertie Bot's beans from Harry Potter. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> god, the outfits. They're all over the place, man. Hey, there's even a little... Well, I wasn't quite expecting that, I'll be honest. <laughs> Give me the dragon. <laughs> and then there's the cool little sneaky route here, and there's the guy over here in the corner that, again, doesn't hear me, because apparently that's how it works. Who are you? trying to reload the freaking Desert Eagle and I can't because it keeps trying to open the bloody door. This is so annoying. I have to stand miles away just because otherwise I open the door all the time. Anyway, where did you guys come from? No idea where they came from. Right, come on, sneaky door route now. Right. No, I can't remember where the actual person is. Ooh, hello. Right, I found where the hostage is. Not too worried about that anymore. Nice. Oh. So let me know. I've never seen that cutscene in my life, you know. Ever. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that. That's a new one for me. Literally have never seen that cutscene. 
probably because I always do the thing fully stealthy. It made a change to do something a little different. That was so weird. Never seen that before. It's quite a cool cutscene, actually. Uh, being totally honest, I'd wear that patterned outfit. Yeah, I'm sure. Guy puts his hands up, headshot. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'll have you know that uh, these guys are extremely violent. If you actually take their gun, right, and then let them just stand there and surrender, they'll surrender. But as soon as you turn around, they'll just pull out another gun and try and shoot you. So that's why you kill them. Anyway, yeah, you can walk around all on top of the uh, balconies and stuff here. It's quite cool, actually. Can I shoot you through this window well? That is a good question. I can literally just see him there. Time to, uh, uh nah, go on, we won't. Yeah, let's not bother doing that. Let's just do this. <laughs> Straight in the head. Right, well, I think that was successful. Okay, let's jump through the window, actually. Why not? Keep the shotgun out, I think. Yes, look at that. Hell yeah. It's all about stealthing him through the ceiling. Do you mind? There you go, you get to see what looks like a normal student freaking dormitory room <laughs> at a uni. Only more posh. <laughs> a lot more posh, actually, I might add. <laughs> so much more posh. Is that just a picture of a plant? I think so. So hard to see it. I can't tell. There we go. You can stand up, by the way. Uh, it's weird. I used to play this all the time as a kid. Oh, I'm remembering very little of this. I remember the multiplayer. Yeah, to be fair, multiplayer is something that most people played on this. You know, I think the most rather than the single player in some regards. I don't know. How did that not kill you, mate? I don't know. I think that, you know, the single player is definitely remembered to an extent. But definitely the multiplayer on this is remembered. And the multiplayer is actually really damn good. <laughs> but it's not as great, really, unless you're playing with a friend, I think. It's alright with bots, but I definitely prefer playing it with a friend. That's kind of how I remember it for the most part these days. So if you were to play it without a friend, it just doesn't feel quite the same. It's alright, though. Alright, up we go. I noticed that for once, M&Ms are not arguing in the chat. And also, Chip is not going on about bacon or ice cream or something for once. Makes a change for him. Same for the M&Ms, actually. <laughs> well, there we are. Right, we've got the cool ninja guy now. We don't argue. <laughs> We're finished here. Classic Nathan. uni Let's accommodation go. vibes. What about Kiko? Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. <laughs> I got the worst version of the room. It's true. The uni accommodations generally don't look that great. Wait here. Let's get moving. Exactly. We're a peaceful civil bunch. You are not a peaceful civil bunch. Ah! Civil bunch. Sorry, I've got a ninja trying to kill me. Oh, God. My eyes. Where am I? What is happening? Oh, hello. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> tried to blind me, but you failed. Eat it now, for God's sake. Well, I might as well reload while this is going on. I can't see a thing. Where am I? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> How are you not dead? <laughs> Freaking die already. Thank you. Right, now I have to mute it. <laughs> anyway, there goes Ninja Man. <laughs> My uni halls were great. Yeah, some uni halls can be great. Some are just awful. 
my one was not good. <laughs> Although my friend's one was really, really nice. Like, super nice, actually. <sighs> Luckily, I lived in a house. You lived in a house, you lucky. I can't believe you got to live in a house. It's just not, um, it's not fair, is it, really? <laughs> you got to live in a freaking house. Don't see the rest of us getting that. <laughs> I always felt bad for the cleaners in halls. They don't get paid enough. To be fair, I think... The cleaners in my hall of residence actually gave up cleaning in the end. And I don't blame them because a load of... I lived in my hall of residence in the first year. was basically right in the centre of the city as well as like all the student life and that. Um, but we obviously had all the drunks around coming out of all the clubs and that. And I remember the one time where those guys ended up actually taking the metal front doors off of our UD accommodation. They literally managed to smash the doors off of their hinges and run off with them. So in the end, what ended up happening is all the homeless tramps and everything all ended up sleeping in... <laughs> it was funny, this, to be fair. They all ended up sleeping in the open lobby area that you walk into, and they're all just using the coffee machine in that lobby and drinking free coffee and stuff and there was a guy sleeping in the elevator as well so <laughs> everybody that used the elevator there's just this random homeless guy basically asleep in the middle of the elevator uh, <laughs> and when you came down in the morning to go to your lectures there's just tons of random people for no apparent reason sleeping in the lobby and you're like what the hell's going on anyway what they ended up doing is because it was so difficult for them to fix the doors the front doors were that kind of difficult i guess to repair uh, also they couldn't find them because people ran off with them they ended up getting two pieces of plywood and a bodyguard to deal with the front door so what we had to do is we had to go to the front door and just show our little pass that you know indicates that we stay in that hall of residence and this guy would just grab the piece of plywood and shove it to the side and be like, yeah, sure, go on in. <laughs> Honestly, one of the funniest things ever and truly one of the weirdest experiences you probably could ever have in your life at uni. But I will always love it. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh, dear. Alex, what could I say? You snooze, you lose. Not quite, Mel. The way it goes, you see, is where I went to uni, you couldn't get a house quite like that. The, you know, student accommodation was just giant tower blocks and they were pretty awful. <laughs> if yours was actually a house, then I assume it wasn't uni accommodation. I don't know any unis that actually have a house, really, as accommodation. So I'd be surprised. But who knows? Either way... We went from Essex to there. You went to Cardiff, Mel. Really? You went all the way to Cardiff for uni? Man, that is a trek. What are you doing? Why would you make such a trek like that? That's too far. <laughs> oh, dear. I never went to uni. Was it fun? Um, Not really. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of say that uni is a really fun experience. I kind of disagree. There are elements of it, I guess, that are fun. But for the most part, nah, not really. Can't say I ever have fun with uni. But there you go. I guess it depends on your course, you know. 
what makes uni fun or not. If you have a less stressful, more chilled out, steady course, they'll be all right. But if you have a full on course, like a gaming course, then uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> That is indeed Q fly. Uni was okay, glad they did it. Wouldn't do it again though. Nah. I guess I'll go with what John said. Uni was okay for the most part. It wasn't incredible, but it was alright. <laughs> Right, now I'd like to add that you're supposed to use tranquilizer darts on this level, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to do this. <laughs> Literally. I love it. They're, <laughs> they're like, yeah, use the tranquilizer darts we supply you with. And I'm just like, nope, this time. <laughs> the thing is, if you use the tranquilizer darts, there is a problem. And the problem is that they don't stay knocked out for long enough. So it's all about punch knock out anyway i really like this level i know so many people hate this level in this game i really like this level i think it's great it's a stealth level obviously but it's a really fun one also mel said that she had like a effectively student actually hang on a minute a student accommodation sort of housing thing um yeah i guess seeing as you said you're in cardiff makes a bit more sense Nothing hey, like that around here, you though. You're going? Nothing at all like that around here. Phoenix. Hello. Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is it so satisfying doing that? Hey, buddy. I've got bad news for you. Hit the alarm. <laughs> this poor guy's like, oh. <laughs> There's someone over there! <laughs> why would you ever use the tranquilizer darts in this level? Like, I don't understand why you would ever do it. There's literally no reason to do it when you can just do that <laughs> every time. <laughs> There's no purpose to using the tranquilizer darts. You can literally just knock them out. Mike knows Essex really well. Well, there you go. Mike knows Essex really well, Office everybody. Your laser trip switches test cycle now running. Cycle will complete in four, four minutes. minutes. Right, let's go. Yeah. What am I drinking? Is it cranberry juice? No, it's water. <laughs> I was drinking water. I still have my notes from lectures for some reason. I think I still have a whole drawer full of all of my notes from lectures. Will I ever use them again? Maybe, but probably not. <laughs> I don't know, it's possible I might use them again. I can't remember if there's anything secret down here. Nah. Do, 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 do. Hello. Raise the alarm. <laughs> You're right there, buddy. You look a little knocked out. Do, 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 do. Q worm time. Where's my Q worm? There it is. Cycle will complete in four, three, five, three one. Minutes. Okay, remember four. Three, five, one. I think I remember that correctly. Four, three, five, one. Where's the Q worm? I know I use it somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, 
Oh no, it's just a Dell printer. <laughs> I thought it was armor. I was like, oh my god, armor. But no, it's just Dell printer. Wait, uh, there's the armor. Have I already picked up armor? Well, I guess I have. I don't actually remember ever picking one up, but whatever. Right. Go, go, go. Whew, made it just in time. Where is this cute worm computer? I remember the computer being around here somewhere. Where is it? Ooh, magazine. What the hell is that as a magazine? Terrifying. <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh, is it here? Complete in ah, there it is. Two minutes. Here we go. Cute worm time. Yoink. Everyone loves a bit of cute worm. Right, let's go. <laughs> that magazine is incredible. Right. Uh, the decipher. There we go. Oh, God. Where'd you come from? Uh, well, I'm right here. Goodbye. <laughs> That's all I have to say to you. You get punched in the nuts. <laughs> right. Then there's this secret room in here. Right, there's my grapple. There we go. Uh, there we are. Right. Cycle will complete Whee! in one minute. Laser trip switches test cycle aborted. Office floor laser system now active. Decrypt. Executive floor lasers test cycle. Now running. Love the way you can just keep holding the button to do this forever. <laughs> I'm decrypting nothing, but I can keep decrypting. It's great. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Ah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> Have a nice little nap. Right, where am I again? I'm so lost. Grab the key code. I'm not actually sure what that key code's for, this one. I truly don't really remember, if I'm honest. Oh. Is he turning around? No, he's not turning around. Alarm. Not really. That's all good. <laughs> Cycle will complete in three minutes. Alright, I can't remember what this code's for, the other one that I've just obtained. Oh well, whatever. We'll leave it, it's fine. Unless it is for something later, I literally can't remember. That <laughs> was just Bond phoning his girlfriend. <laughs> I tried Google Ads, but they don't work for me for some reason. What, Google Ads? What's wrong with your Google Ads? God, that city uh, skybox actually looks pretty decent. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> I'm actually generally quite impressed, considering how old this game is. Because you've got to remember that this game came out in 2002. It's quite old now. I see everyone's now going on about jobs in the chat. This makes a change. It's not something that we see very often. <laughs> it's usually ever random stuff. <laughs> makes a change. Right, let's go. I mean, you're quite lucky, Chip, in regards to the apprenticeship thing, because you actually had the ability to get an apprenticeship for your job area. But then again, I know that your job area that you were in has a lot more of that available. Unfortunately, for something like mine, no. <laughs> Which is a bit depressing, but there we are. What can I say? Oh my god, what the hell is that? That is terrifying. Economy. It, it literally is horrifying. <laughs> okay. 
don't know who came up with some of these freaking magazine covers, but they are next level horrifying. <laughs> Careful the camera. Right, let's go. Right, decipher. There we go. Cycle will complete in <sighs> one minute. Hmm. Well, there you go, Fly. That probably means that they either thought you were good enough to do it, or they just were desperate to have somebody involved. <laughs> Who knows? Looks so cool. Right, Q worm. There you go. Very nice. All right. Now, might as well get this ready, because I know we're going to get attacked in a minute. Ah, right, I'm ready. For the most part. Cycle will complete in ten seconds. It's alright, it's not like there's two frickin' turrets just standing there. Quickly, 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 quick. Alright, thank you. What happened to Run. <laughs> The street out front is swarming with security agents. <laughs> it's not that door, it's the other frickin' door. Ouch, ouch. There we go. You must get out of here, James. It's a trap. I put that together when your boyfriend's chopper nearly clipped me off the building. You don't understand. They have Drake cool gadgets in this game. I agree, James. The password, they do indeed. And he's not going to let they have the a lot of them, actually. With you. These stairs go directly to the roof. You'll find a parachute in the helicopter. It's your only chance of escape. Dominique. If Drake finds you out... Do you think you're the only spy you can make someone trust you completely? Mm. Please, James, go now! I love the way he just freezes on the stairs there. It's great. Oh my god! Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies. <laughs> nice, there we go. Right, now we can jump off the roof. And now I have to mute it. <laughs> I love having to mute for cutscenes in this. Okay, I have to admit that the next level that we've got coming up is one of my most favourite levels in the game. And it's actually kind of depressing that the music is muted for this level, because like one of the most awesome parts of this level is actually the music. It just makes this level so incredible, having the music. I am depressed that we can't put the music on for this one. This one's just like perfect for music. But it's a really good level, this one as well, actually, chain reaction. I think it's an awesome level. Uh, I will quickly catch up with the chat a little bit before I dive into it. But already, I say, we're like halfway through the game, aren't we? Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, six, yeah. Yeah, we're halfway through the game now. There you go, halfway through, exactly. Uh, right. Do, do, 
Also, I love the way that Mike was just casually asking Mel on a stream chat, where are you from in Essex? Just tell me now. <laughs> uh, just outright, just go, give me the address, give me everything. <laughs> Calm down, Mike. Uh, sorry, Mike, it was amusing to read. <laughs> Uh, how do I like the game? I love the game, James. I think it's an awesome game, James Bond Nightfire. I really have always loved this game, though, since I was a kid. I literally got this when it first came out back in 2002. It was an awesome game. You can't not love James Bond Nightfire, to be honest. But no, I really enjoy this game. I think the gadgets are definitely very unique in this game, for sure. Um, overall, the levels are actually quite fun. And even like the guns, to be fair, are quite interesting. I do kind of wish that the gameplay sort of like movement and things was a bit better, but I know it's old, it's clunky. I kind of wish it was like, you know, a bit more modern day games. <laughs> it's the new <laughs> It's the new updated modern way to dox. <laughs> yeah, by just going, Mel, give me your address now. <laughs> Indeed, you're correct. <laughs> There he is, it's the helicopter man. Some of you might recognise him from the snow level. The cutscenes in this game are so good. Yeah, I agree, the cutscenes in this game are awesome. The whole story in this game is awesome. I think it's got a really cool, unique story to it, to be fair. Man down, man down. I'm it. Sorry. I'm just so used to hearing that. <laughs> Even after all this time, I still remember all the quotes. It's a big one for me, this game. What can I say? It's a big one. This is like so much of my childhood you just can't even understand. Man down, man down. Man down, man down. Oh, I love it. Right, let's go the secret way in. I'm actually amazed after all this time I can still remember all these secrets and the levels and stuff. It's been a while so I am actually surprised I can remember them all. I'll tell you what, when we get to the later on part of the game I'm probably not going to remember them all though. I don't think I'm going to remember half of them. When we get to things like island infiltration and stuff. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> No, oh, don't move now. Where's the other person gone? Where are you? There you are. Oh, it's so cool having the golden gun right now. I have to be honest, I'm so happy we got this. I can't believe we unlocked it so early, to be brutally honest with you. It's not something I was expecting. I feel so awesome to be able to hold this again, though, in Nightfire, the Golden Gun. It's so cool. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> right. Uh, camera. Where's my camera? There it is. There we go. I'll be seeing that later. Don't you worry. What were the criteria for unlocking the golden gun? 
That's a good question. I've got to remember it. I thought it was something really difficult, like completing one of the levels in a particular time or something like that. But maybe I'm wrong. Or getting a particular score in a level or something. I really can't remember, though. It's been so long since I looked at that stuff, so... I don't know, maybe it was easier than I thought, but who knows. Either way, it's cool to have it. Right, I should get the sniper out, actually. If this was a modern game, the criteria would be uh, enter your credit card details. It would probably be something like that, Mike. Yeah. Um, or, as you're probably just trying to do right now, as you did with Mel, dox everyone. <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. Uh, right, where is the... Where is he? I swear he's over there, no? Or is he over here? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure where the person is. Do, 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 do. Right. There he is. Damn it. Oh. I see him. Man down, man down. Man down, man down. Everyone having a good time in Discord, I see. It would appear that John seems to be doing something. <laughs> Mike needs to go on a internet safety course. I like that one, Mel. Nah, why would he do that? He's being perfectly safe. <laughs> of course. Oh, Jesus, where the hell is that? Intruder spotted. Intruder. Oh, he's there. <laughs> he's literally right in front of me. He sounds miles away, that guy. But I think that is all the snipers, mostly. He's oh, no, it's not. Left. He's behind the forklift. I'm literally right in front of him. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> that guy, honestly, really, really couldn't be asked to just walk around the forklift. But there we are. Right, anyway, let's go and look at some of the secrets. Now, I will I confess... Oh, hello. <laughs> there was another guy up here. I thought there might be. Intruder spotted. Damn it. I'm trying to remember how to actually get onto the top balcony bit in here, and that's something that I am struggling to remember. There is a guy up here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, there he is. I see him. God, he's, he's a proper sprinter, this guy. Look at that. Christ. He is determined. That is a man who is on a mission. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to use this in order to get on top of, like, certain things. Mike should create his own subscription based on the main safety course. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he would do very well. <laughs> Got him. Now for a dry martini, eh? If you say so. Right, come on, let's move. Let's go that way, uh, forklift. I wish I could drive the forklift, it would be nice, but I can't. Please go to the right direction. No, don't pick up more, I just want you to go back to where you were before so I can get to the secret. Yes, welcome to the stream, men, lads. You met, uh, met, you... I am certainly struggling sometimes today. Um, where is this thing going? Oh, okay, good. I was like, please go the other way. Nah, I think uh, you missed out some weird stuff, men, lads. You missed out Mike trying to quite literally put the location of where Mel lives and everything into a live stream. <laughs> he literally was just pretty much just trying to dox Mel on... Live stream. <laughs> oh dear, he's not going to live that one down, by the way. Yeah, I thought I needed this. Whee! Oh, do I need it again? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come back. There is some... Um, 
a way to get on there. How do I get on there again? Yeah, it is that. I thought so. Yeah, that's fine. Can we uh, move this way? Thank you. Well, do I need this? Actually, I'm not sure I do need this. Nah, I don't need this. I just need this. Really? Thank you. Alright, nice. Do, 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 do. Have I not been hit once? I'm actually quite impressed. I honestly thought I had been hit at least once. Okay, how do I get over there again? Okay, that is something I truly don't remember this time. How do you get... Ah, I see. Oh, yeah, 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 you have to climb up to the roof there and then zip the line down. No, I remember. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll get that one in a minute. Yoink. Yoink. Hell yeah, secret briefcase with a minigun. Get in there. Oh my god, can we move a bit faster? Right, thank you. Right, let's uh, keep that out in a minute. And I guess might as well get the pistol out. Uh, lesson number one from Mike how to not dox people. <laughs> Indeed. Go! A robot forklift in the 60s, eh? I've got all these armors around the place and I don't need a single one of them <laughs> due to the fact that I haven't been hit once yet. <laughs> uh... Oh, probably have Terminators walking around, eh? I think you're thinking too early, mate. Terminators ain't going to come around. It'll be fine. I'd be more concerned about doxing in the case of what Mike is doing. <laughs> it's probably more concerning. Right. Now, I can't remember how to do this. Yes, that's right. No, not that. How do you... Um, unless you're supposed to do it from over there. Maybe you are. Yeah, I think you are. Okay, hang on. Time to go for a little stroll back to the other side. Do, 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 do. Sorry, there's no music, so I have to fit in in some shape or form. Right, yeah, here we go. And that's how you get the secret, because then you just do this. Whee! I love the way he's not even holding on to the freaking rope. <laughs> and there we go, this is how you get the secret crossbow. Awesome. The Delta Repeater. Is there a safe way for me to land? Hmm. It's not looking particularly promising. I guess I could go and land on this again. Oh. Land on the door. Yeah, nice. Ah, now I have to do all the climbing again. But otherwise, yeah, it went really well. Wee. You know, I reckon, by the way, guys, that Mel is probably quite happy that I'm not doing Chamber of Secrets PS2 again this Saturday. Because she hates spiders. And the next part would have been primarily probably spiders. <laughs> Obviously Incendio, but then it's just instantly Aragog and more spiders. Midget spiders, medium-sized spiders, quick spiders, gooey spiders, and big spider. All manner of spiders. Loads of spiders. So yeah, she's probably quite pleased I'm not doing it because she hates spiders. 
Uh, but we will carry on with Chamber of Secrets PS2 at some point soon. We will finish that off, don't you worry. She's not yet. She might... How much ammo have I got on my uh, sniper? Oh, I've got loads of ammo. Okay. In the back of the head. Where's... Where are you? Oh, there you are. He doesn't notice the sniper shots. Really? How could you not notice those sniper shots? There's a guy behind the door. Right, okay. Oh, there's two of them. There we go. Very nice. Do, 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 do. You're right, I don't have to suffer with spiders today. <laughs> Indeed, you don't. But don't worry, you will soon enough. The time will come. And, well, I guess you'll be very upset. <laughs> That's all I can say. Right, where's this? Really? I wonder if I could kill you with a pistol. Please don't move further out, it makes life difficult. Nice. I've run out of ammo on my pistol now though. It's my golden gun. I want my golden gun back. Oh well. Anyway, right. Let's get going to the next level. Well, the next part of the level, I should say. Oh, really? Yeah, really, I'm gonna have to walk all the way around. Great. Gooey spiders, that sounds like my actual worst nightmare. <laughs> what? Gooey spiders? They're not that horrendous. Why would you be so upset about gooey spiders? Maybe they're like Haribo gooey spiders, who knows? Alright, awesome. Next level, which involves quite a lot of sniping. Let's go. Uh, it's Piers Brosnan Bond, not Sean Connery. Nah, it's not Sean Connery, this one. Sean Connery's only in one of the games, I'm pretty sure, which of Yeah, which is from Russia with Love. Petition to send Mel to Australia and discover all the fun spiders that exist there. <laughs> Deploy the red team and take him down. Do, 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 do. Sorry. The music is something that is ingrained in my brain. <laughs> man down, man down. Damn it. it. There's a guy up there by any chance. Do, 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 do. There is a guy up there, I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. I know there's a guy back there somewhere. Can't freaking see him, which is really helpful. So I wonder if I could see him from here. No. Oh. He's behind the shipping crate. Hey, I didn't mean to fall He's off the there. Stairs. To be fair. Where is he? <laughs> He's on the stairs. Where is he? He's As he falls off crates. of the freaking top bit. Down, you know what? Let's get the auto out, shall we? Well, I say auto. Burst more. Nice. Also, I love what Mel said there. First you want to dox me, now you want to send me into spiders. <laughs> love it. Yeah, I think your fellow M has betrayed you, Mel. <laughs> It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> He's by the loading door. Oh, I see him. who is it? Who's sniping? I don't know where you are, and it is horrible, but I don't know where you are. Where are you? Oh, I see him. I see him. <laughs> Ironic. Both at the same time. I see him. Alright, let's get rid of you first. 
Now, I'm pretty sure there was a guy over here, no? Yep, there he is. I'm it. Intruder spotted. Oh, God, yeah, there's another one up there. Uh, uh, uh. Man down, man down. Man down, man down. Right, I think... I need to try this out, but there's not really a good spot for it right now, so we'll do it in a minute. Anyway. Now, yeah, we got to keep the M&Ms. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yes. Good luck. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I just got the sniper put away, guys. Oh my god, there's loads. What is that? Okay, that is one hell of a sniping position to take right there. I'm impressed with that guy. He literally didn't even hold the thing with two arms to aim. He's just like, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> that is what you call a sniper with dedication. <laughs> I'm impressed. That is not something you see every day. Right, let's do this. Is that why Bond's boss is always called M in the films and books then? Dun -dun. <laughs> it's all reverse psychology. I like it. Uh, yeah, I think we've got rid of all the snipers now. If not, then, well, I'm about to get sniped. But hopefully we got rid of all of them. Alright, let's go to the secret area. Whee! Oh my god, there is a sniper. He's behind the vent. The vent? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I've lost him. Spotted. Oh my god, how are you not dead yet? Seriously? <laughs> Die. Thank you. <laughs> Only got one bullet left. What do you mean, vent? I'm literally not even near a vent at this point, really. But fair enough, mate. You can keep calling it a vent if you like, I guess. Oh, yes. Nice. At least managed to get the sniper ammo, which is nice. There is a quick way down there in some regards, but we're not going to go that way because we want to go up here. I will actually keep the sniper out, I think. There we go. The lens flare in this level is probably inspired by J.J. Abrams. Maybe. <laughs> Were those bullets secretly missing? Was that a glitch? Which bullets? Explain. Contact lost. I can't see him. Ah, uh, right. Where's the sniper? Come on, I know you're around. I literally just heard you talk. Where are you? Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, hopefully you won't shoot me. <laughs> Please don't shoot me. Nope. Okay, good. Right, let's go. Whee! Where the hell is that sniper? I'm really concerned when I don't actually know where the sniper is. It's always worrying. Where are you? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with probably indoors somewhere. Always fun. Always fun. Oh. Good. 
do 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 Oh come on. Why does it have to be so long? <laughs> right. The last secret area and then we can actually carry on with the rest of the level. Should I make that? Or should I do that? Mm. Yeah, screw it, we'll do this. Seriously? You can't jump on that? Why not? Oh, come on. <laughs> How is that fair? Nah, alright, we'll do it this way then. <laughs> Don't mind me just casually breaking the invisible barrier that they obviously put there on purpose. <laughs> I don't take invisible barriers as answers, thank you. Oh my god, hello. Come on out. Okay, this really didn't do much damage to him, and I'm kind of horrified by that. So, time to get the sniper out. Yes. Oh, there's another one. Oh, bollocks. There we go. Oh my god, there's another one. Where the hell? What? Where? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Right in the balls. <sighs> ah, there's the other one. There's two of you. Seriously? <laughs> How many of you that want to be inside this freaking place? Chill out. Right. Let's go. Any time today, whenever you want to come closer. And come on. Thank you. Right, let's uh, get this out, I think. Oh, God. Oh, good. Pistol with one bullet, that'll do. <laughs> get the sniper out. Really? Alright, we'll land on this. Should be alright. There we go. Cool. Yes, I could do with some ammo actually for my machine guns quite badly. Here's the secret room with the armor in it. Oh, awesome. We're pretty much at the end of the level now, because we don't have much left. Oh, I just need to take a photo of this. There we go. Or is it this? Nah, either way. Actually, hang on. What we will do, I think, is put that down there. I love this freaking laser weapon, this is so fun. I'm it. I'm it. The laser gun is awesome, there's no denying it. Oh come on, really? Nice. Right, where's the other person? I'm it. I'm it. I wish we could take this laser gun with us. Oh, you gotta love the little freaking briefcase weapon. It's awesome. I see him. 
There's this. There is actually a guy. Oh my god, there's loads of guys. Okay. Hello. <laughs> there's tons of you all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the end of the level. <laughs> I guess I'll be muting it. Sniper mode. Very accurate. Very deadly. I know it. From Republic Commando. See if this was King Kong and never get the subtle reminders of ammo, indeed. <laughs> God, that, that backdrop looks a bit dated, doesn't it? <laughs> Who saw that plot twist coming? Come on a minute. Who saw it coming? <laughs> Anyone see the plot twist coming? <laughs> and don't say yes if you've already played the game. <laughs> That's cheating. In general, if you haven't played this game, did you see that plot twist coming where Kiko ended up being the baddie? Come on. Admit it. Admit it. <laughs> oh. Right. That heli looks dated. <laughs> nah, the helicopter looks fine. It's only the backdrop that looks really bad. Nah, I mean, to be fair, things get dated. This came out in 2002, in all fairness, it still actually looks quite decent, all things considered. Obviously, if it was remastered by today's standards, it would look incredible, I reckon. But yeah, you know, for what it is, I think they did a decent job back in the day. But... Yeah, parts of it look a bit dated. <laughs> oh well. Right, Phoenix Fire. This is an awesome level. This is one of those like quite action packed levels basically. But I quite like this one quite a bit. Um the one after it though, I'm really not looking forward to and I really hate it with a passion. So not looking forward to that one, but let's go. Looks pretty good by 2002 standard. Yeah, to be fair, it does. Some bits of it still hold up by today, I feel. Graphics-wise. Dun dun dun. <clears throat> yeah, I remember this like whole cutscene being just generally quite depressing. Also, something that when you first ever play this game, it's not something you ever see coming at all, really. I guess you could see some parts of it coming, I suppose, but not all of it. Right, now we get the most action-packed level ever. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Get ready to shoot a lot of enemies. <laughs> That's pretty much how this level goes. And yes, I have to avoid those Security briefcases alert. too. The elevators have been temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a nice day. <laughs> I like that the elevator has been disabled for your protection. <laughs> Oi. There's a uh, double O agent just walking around. I'm sure people probably recognise this room. And just in general, this whole level right now. <laughs> From when we were here earlier and, you know, having a good time stealthing around and punching enemies. <laughs> it was good fun. Yeah, you can't go in there, can you? Um, don't know how much there really is around here half the time. Oh, 
Right, we can still use the Q worm, which is quite cool. I like the way that you can actually use that. Oh, can you? Yeah, no, you just have to interact with it, don't you? Oh! Oh, we got the shotgun. Okay, I'm happy. Yes! Look at that, we got the shotgun. I'm very happy. That's so stupid of you Julius, you are. Alright, uh, this one. What was it? It was two, four, seven, six. There we go. That's where there are people following me. There is someone following me, I thought there was. Hang on a minute. Just need to get rid of them. Alright. I keep, I'm gonna keep doing that. I keep pressing X to open things and it's freaking square. Because I'm so used to the modern day pressing X to open or interact with literally anything instead of freaking square. I'm so used to it. Goodbye. Oh, I missed him. Ow. There's a guy behind me. Ah, reload. Oh, that's it all. Reload again, quickly. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, hang on a minute. Let me reload this. Alright. Oh my god, there's quite a lot of you guys. Right, time to use this. It's a bit hectic at points. Right, let's go. I think we're almost there. Yeah, we are. Nice. And we got armor. What more could you possibly want? I would like some uh, shotgun ammo back. <laughs> uh, did the Japanese guy just say vanilla ice? Nah. <laughs> Not at all. He didn't say vanilla ice. He said Julia Zura. <laughs> I'll have that briefcase. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a briefcase like down here. Yep, there is. I think you can just jump past it. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll do this. Oh. There we go. Much better. Right. You can, in theory, if you want. I remember this. Just go this direction and just walk across there. But we probably won't do that. Ow. That hurt. I'm not sure if you can actually open this door at all either. Nah. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's try going this way. I don't normally go this way. I normally go the other way, but I want to try it. Take a chew tie. What's a heck of chew die? <laughs> That's an interesting word. Well, a set of words, I suppose. <laughs> it's a chew die. Oh, okay. Hello, grenade. Thank you for that. Really didn't need it. Alright, good. It is indeed the intruder, you are right. <laughs> I need some backup here. Oh my god, they put people on the window. <laughs> okay. That was a bit overkill. I wasn't quite expecting that. Right, there's the Q thing. Might as well do that. You are shooting through a door, mate. This is not cool. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Move, move. Hang on. I need some backup here. We have a go. There's a time bomb there. As you do. Oh, I can literally hear one of those freaking briefcase things shooting. Ah. Oh, armor. Nice. Oh god. 
<laughs> I think it, I think he just got killed by his own little briefcase. That's quite funny. Ow, I can't see. How did you get in here? Right, I am a little... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> There's an absolute bundle load of them. Right, I need to get behind this briefcase. Oh my god. <laughs> How many of you want to spawn? Right, let's just go. Oh. Right, shut that off. Oh my days. How many of you are there? Endless amounts of enemies. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I think we can chill out on the amount of enemies. I'm going to run out of freaking ammo for the next section by the time I get through it. Ah, ah, get me in. <laughs> what? And... Oh. At least it's shooting its own men, which is always quite handy, I won't lie. That's better. Double seven. They deactivate the elevators at night. You'll have to find the controls to reactivate them. No, I know. I know I need to reactivate the elevator. I will get to that. I just need to get to the room where that actually is, and I'm trying to remember where the hell that actually is. And that is surprisingly harder than it sounds to find the location of. Fly, where's your mind at? I'm back. I was making chicken wings. Chip is making chicken wings. Why are you doing that, we Chip? What do you think you are doing making chicken wings? Totally unacceptable. The fact that you've made chicken wings and you're not sharing them with everyone else is actually disgraceful. You should be ashamed of yourself, Chip. <laughs> Truly ashamed. But how do I get to that freaking room? What is it? I'm truly trying to figure this out. Uh, oh god, hello. It's in here, I swear. Ah, there we go. Right, I want five, six, eight, four. Five, six, eight, four. Ooh, he's me. Wow. Anyway, there we go. I did it. Right. Now I can get out of there. Good. Everyone can have one, <laughs> one wing each. Is that it? Only one. How many are there? Thirty-six. Count them myself. One. <laughs> but last year I had forty-eight. <laughs> They're a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. <laughs> oh dear. I hope you're enjoying your little uh, time memeing on everything here, Chip. Um, right, I need the laser. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Can I bribe you with more ice cream to get more than one <laughs> wing? <laughs> yeah, it's all about the bribing. I see how the M&Ms work. Disgraceful, really. Disgraceful behaviour. They use bribery to get good stuff. Disgusting. Very disappointed. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Just reload quickly. Oh, hello. <laughs> and here comes the time bomb. <laughs> I'm jealous I'll never get one of those. <laughs> am I am I jealous I'll never get one of you? Interesting. Don't need to be jealous. I've already made your life a living hell. And quite successfully I might add, because I made you stay awake until pretty much four AM, so haha. <laughs> I win anyway. I left you knackered the next day, Mel. How does it feel? <laughs> Ow. There it is. 
Next time bomb, please. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, fair enough. I thought there was going to be more. A little surprised there wasn't. I think they reused this lift sound. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Mel, you're of course going to turn it into an out of context. Of course, aren't you? Why didn't I suspect that you would do that? It's the sort of thing that I expect you to do, and yet I didn't expect you to do it. <laughs> Deary me, Mel. Very disappointed in you, Mel. Very disappointed. <laughs> You're trying to do that while I'm busy trying to do this. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, there's a guy up there. Wait, there's a balcony there? I didn't even know there was. Right, do that. Ah. <sighs> Not like I really need armor, I suppose, but oh my god, okay, there's a few enemies there. Way more than I gave it credit for. Way more. Oh, don't roll now. Nice, right, let's go and end the level. Quickly. And we're done. And it's mute time. <laughs> oh dear. I hate you lot. Truly hate you lot for that. <laughs> Can't believe it. I actually annoyed I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I'll give you that, Mel. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> dear me. I'm very good at this game. Thank you very much, James. I appreciate it. I wouldn't say I'm playing it absolutely expertly, though, of anything. <laughs> Your fault. Don't blame me. I am going to blame you. I'm going to 100% blame you for that now. 100%. You took advantage there. <laughs> Still, I will give you credit. That was very creative. <laughs> that was very creative. I will give you that. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I uh, just realised there's no Discord link in the chat. No, there isn't actually a Discord link in the chat today, is there? I forgot to put it in. Nah, I guess if anyone wants to join the Discord or anything like that, then it is linked down in the description of the stream, John. So, you know, if anyone cares for that, then just point them there. Um, but yeah, it's there. It's just not pinned in the normal chat. So there you go. <laughs> You were baking fairy cakes again till 4am. <laughs> oh dear. Fairy cakes? Blimey, of all the things, Chip. <laughs> uh, I hope you're going to make silly, funny comments in definitely the worst level of the game right now, so that, that would be great. You got me. Don't go telling everyone. <laughs> Cake is good. It is good. I agree. <laughs> Unlike my fellow M, I can't last until the early hours of the morning, so I'm going to pass out. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I hate this level. <laughs> It's a cool idea and a cool concept of a level, just not designed too well. Thank you for coming by the stream, though. I appreciate it, Mike. It was awesome having you here. But yeah, anyway, I will see you at the next stream. Oh my god. The controls are inverted as well. Why? Why would you invert the controls for this section? We've got company, James. We should get out of the main channel. This is horrible. Up is down, down is up. Oh, for Christ's sake! Right is left, and <laughs> why would you do this? 
Oh, this is awful. Okay. Don't let them spot I'm us. not going to enjoy this level, am I? Worse than broom flying. The it, it is so much worse because it's so badly inverted. This the fact that left is right, right is left, up is down, Your and down is up. It's awful. But they'll allow you to eliminate hard to reach targets. Uh oh. Okay, right, good. Oh, Christ's sake, this is inverted as well. Who invented the inversion on this? Whoever it was. Keep them from why would you do this? Why? Why would you do this? It makes it so horrible to drive. And I've got to get through this without dying because if I do, then I have to restart the whole freaking level. <laughs> right. Where's that guy gone? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh! Avoid those sensors, 007, and try the V-12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. I actually don't know how much health I might have lost from that. Really? None. Oh, I'm quite impressed. Are there any secret health in here or anything? Like armor? I would really appreciate having some armor for this level, to be honest. I really would like armor for it. Oh my god, this inversion is awful. <laughs> okay. Right. Remote control torpedoes. Snape's voice always. Uh, keep up the side of the M&M's. Deary me. <laughs> there we go. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about the mines. Oh no. Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Oh, this is awful, this section. Oh, bloody hell. Uh. Oh no! Oh god, you bastards! Why would you put the mines like this? Oh, this is just painful. Okay, just speed it, freaking speed it! If one of these blows up, you actually fail the whole freaking mission. So, I literally just need to make sure that none of these blow up, and it's not a nice thing. Okay, good. Screw this level <laughs> so much. The concept is truly awesome, I will not deny it, but the execution is next level pain. Right. Oh, oh come on. Oh, okay, hang on. Yes, right now. I saw the amount of mines on the way down here, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Slowly. There we go. Oh no! Ah, oh, you bastard! No, <laughs> there had to be one on the right, didn't there? I honestly thought I might have just been able to get around that. No, we're gonna have to restart the whole bloody level. Need to oh, <laughs> okay. This level is going to kill my sanity. I could already tell. We've got company, James. We should get out the of the main 07 channel. car was so cool. It is very cool. There's no denying that. I agree. Oh, my sanity is going to die from this level. <laughs> it's really going to die from it. The fact there's not a single checkpoint in this level is just brutal. Don't let them spot us. Sever their communications network, 007. That will allow you to engage the enemy without raising a general alarm. <laughs> Your remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard to reach targets. <laughs> Got this, I can complete this level. I probably can complete this level. I've done it many times in the past. It doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy doing it. Because <laughs> I'm not going to enjoy doing it at all. Oh my god. It would really help if the controls weren't inverted, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the inverted controls make this so much worse. Try to remember that everything is the wrong way round, and that does not help. Right, die. Yeah. Avoid those sensors, 007, and try the V12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. Yeah, we got it. Right, let's go. Actually, I might as well just keep these remote torpedoes out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Oh no! 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 Oh my god, what has happened? I don't even know where I am. 
bloody hell. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is not a good spot to be. Where am I? <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is terrible. I don't even know which way to go. Okay, go down, down. Just go down. Right, where am I? <laughs> I really don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Am I even going the right way? I better be going the right freaking way. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. Oh. Bastards. <laughs> right, well, that went well. It's only the first section of the mines as well. Right, get. Oh, sh shit. That's alright, the car can fit through this totally small gap. <coughs> Whoever invented this section is a psychopath. I'm sorry, there's no other way of putting it. You are a psycho, whoever you were. <laughs> oh, go. No. Freaking keep straight. Thank you. Oh, God. Screw this section. Right, there we go. Whew. Right, we can do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is really nerve-wracking. It might not look it to you lot, but it really is. Jesus. Right, okay, we made it. And now we've got the section that I died at last time, and given what I just went through a minute ago, <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith in this section right now. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. The cross button will lock the minecart. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> Just what I want. Uh, with only one M, <laughs> it's a smarty. <laughs> All right, well, Mel, you've now become a smarty. Congratulations. For God's sake. Okay, go, 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 go. No, why did you bounce upwards, you bastard? doing that has just cocked up my entire route. Alright, it's fine. I will drive sideways because I can't figure out how to get it freaking flat again. Right. Ah, what are you doing, car? That doesn't help. Right, there we go. Good. Whew. Right, please be the end of the mine sections, for the love of Christ Almighty. I don't know if I can take much more of that. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, it's the end of the mine section. Damn. Our worst fears are confirmed. Thank you. <laughs> Drake's been stockpiling nuclear missiles, not disarming them. 007, you must find a way to disable that arsenal. Acute charge online. Oh my god, what the... Ah. Right, where am I planting the others? So, one there. Oh! How many more of these have I got to freaking well plant? One more? Uh, are we done? Right, We're done. Now get out of there. <gasps> right, this is the race section, isn't it? Where you have to like race around all these enemies, and it's just dreadful. Ugh. We should follow that sub, James. It might be our only way into the base. Oh yeah, we should totally follow this sub. That's not going to make my life a living misery whatsoever. Come on then, let's go. Hello, sub. Ooh. I hate the way this car bounces. If it just slightly touches a rock, it's painful. At least there's no mines in this section. It's actually quite satisfying not having to deal with mines. <laughs> Makes such a difference. Ooh. Bloody hell. All right. I can't wait for this level to end. <laughs> the worst bit is actually the end of this level. I remember it, and not in a fun way. I remember it, though. Because you have to actually freaking well blow up an actual submarine, and it sucks. <laughs> Because one hit from that submarine, and that's it. Game over, basically. Alright. You say objective complete, but is it? 
Oh my god. I can't even aim at him now. He's in the wrong spot and it's gone all laggy. Can you not lag, please? Why can't I aim at you? Oh, there we go. Right, kill it. Okay, now we can kill the other ones as well. Really, 007, just once I'd like to get a vehicle back in one piece. Well, I'll tell you what, Q, if you want to get a vehicle back in one piece, try not putting inversion controls on it, and then we might actually get it in one piece. <laughs> That's what you get for putting a control scheme that is just so wrong, it's unreal. Right, come on. Oh, armor. I'm actually really happy to see you. Armor, armor, give me, give me. I want this now. Oh, yes. Armor. We can't allow Drake to keep nuclear subs. You must find a way Follow to destroy that submarine. them. <laughs> Cube charge online. Right, now I know. I've got to deal with one of the most god-awful things ever in a minute. And it is literally fighting a submarine. Yep, there it is. James, that sub is blocking our access to the beach. I know it is. Don't worry about it, though. It's absolutely fine. It's not like it's going to try and blow us up or anything. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide. I hope this is a good enough spot. It should be. Right, I just need to keep doing this a couple of times, and then we should be all right. Come on, must be nearly dead by now. Is it dead yet? Still not dead. How many more hits do you want to take, mate? Just die already. Backwards. This guy is a pain in the ass, and he's still not dead. Can you just die already? I've shot so many freaking missiles at you. Just die. Thank you. Right. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's over. Oh. It's over. You don't understand how nice it is to see this over. Weak spot someplace. Yeah, on the side, apparently. Oh, right. Thank God that level's over. I really don't like that level. <laughs> Good job, Alex, on this level. Thank you, James. I appreciate it. I think I needed that. <laughs> Oh, I mean, the fact that they don't give you one checkpoint in that level is just so brutal. Bronze, I mean, I'll take it, man. It's the only bronze we've got so far, but I will happily take a bronze over anything at this point. It's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. Um, that is, like, the only level in this whole game that I never particularly liked. I think if the controls were better, i.e. not inverted... And also, there was at least one checkpoint, maybe at the chase scene or something. It'd probably be alright. But otherwise, yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I won't lie. It's definitely pretty painful, though. Uh, why is there a stag Patronus in my room dollar sign? Or pound sign, I think that is. But yeah. I don't know, why is there one in your room, uh, Chip? Why don't you enlighten us? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so what have we got left then? We've got Iron Infiltration, which is, if I remember, two parts to this level, kind of mixed together. So there's... No, I think there's three, actually. Yeah, there's three parts. So there's the driving bit at the beginning then there's the flying a plane bit and then there's basically getting on a giant ass turret and just blowing everything up bit uh pretty sure that's all in one level yeah it is then countdown is the one where you infiltrate their base and you effectively have to fight vrook and uh, kiko then after that you've got fighting drake on the space station which is actually really cool. 
What did I do? I mean, you do everything wrong, Chip. Let's be real here. <laughs> no. Um, you said that you had a Patronus in your room or something. What didn't you do? <laughs> oh, I love it. Why is it that as soon as Chip says something really quite innocent, everyone just rips into him? <laughs> Sorry, Chip. <laughs> But no, you said something about a stag in your room or something like that. I was just watching what the context was. <laughs> Another vehicle level, let's go! And... Unmute. Right, let's go. I will confess I don't remember too much of this level. I remember bits of it. There's an awful lot of this level I don't remember, though. That compound should contain a transmission dish with direct access to Drake's computer network. Hmm. We'll go in the proper way, shall we? Yes. Oh god, that is actually a turret. I didn't think it was going to be a turret there, but there actually was a turret there. Is there a freaking helicopter? There is actually a freaking helicopter. Get it. Good god. Right. Downloading access code. <laughs> code downloaded. Okay, that's quite cool. This car has literally got its own little mini antenna. I like it. Oh, is that armor? Hang on a minute. Is that armor? I am pretty sure I just saw some armor. It is armor. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, awesome stuff. Right, let's go. Ooh, there's some ammo there as well, nice. Uh, what was this about Mel? Uh, oh, Mel said always was snake. I was wondering why there was a stag in my room. Mel did, she was trying to steal my bacon. <laughs> Didn't know what you were talking about, mate. <laughs> Mel always tries to uh, play the innocent role here, but yeah, I reckon, Chip, you should keep an eye on your ice cream. <laughs> Make sure that it's not just randomly vanished <laughs> after it was given James, to you. On us. Can't see an awful lot, if I'm honest, when that happens. Well, they took off a little bit of armour there, didn't they? It's all about playing this level somewhat safely, i.e. carefully. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. I'm <laughs> not driving at full speed around here. It's going to be like death, I swear. Nice beach. Transmitting access code. Code Ah, oh, good fun. Not to worry, it's only a giant ass freaking. Oh my god, okay, I thought it was a turret. It is not a turret. It's. Well, it is a turret, but it's like a laser turret. I really don't have much freaking armor left now either. That's not so great. There's a bloody helicopter shooting at me as well. Right. Um... Transmitting access code. Right, where's the next code turret gonna accepted. pop up then? Where is it? Where is it? I can hear it. Where the hell is that thing? Oh god, okay, I found it. Just shoot an awful lot of rockets at it. Okay, good. Right, I need to get some armor now because I've actually lost all my armor, which is a bit worrying. I'm loving the cool, like, Aztec look and everything of the island. It looks really cool. Please have some armor somewhere. I'm begging you, game. <laughs> there must be something. Please. <laughs> There's no armor anywhere. Oh no. Transmitting access code. What is code going on? Accepted. Someone's literally launching missiles right now. I'm a fallen angel, excuse me. I'm clearly an angel. Hang on a minute. So we're we trying to say that Mel is all of a sudden an angel. I don't know how much I agree with that. <laughs> What am I about to do? Oh, I'm about to drive into something very dangerous. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Woo. 
Okay, that could have gone very badly. We'll just do that while we're here, though. And that. Right, okay, I think for the most part we're all good. I'm actually trying to drive in inverted ways now after that freaking submarine level. I keep now pushing right to go left and left to go right. <laughs> I hate that submarine level. It's just cocked up my whole ability to drive. <laughs> I'm not happy with it. Right, well, I thought there might be something else up here. There isn't. Alright, not to worry. At least we got some armour. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, where's the freaking exit? Come on. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Alright, hang on a minute. <laughs> Do that. Right, there we go. Oh, good. That looks fun. Yay. Come on, then. Bring it on. No, hang on. No, I wanted to get the arm. <laughs> Seriously, I wanted to get the arm. He already has Mel is barred from the ice cream parkour. Parkour? Parlour, even. <laughs> He's doing parkour for his ice cream. <laughs> there you go, Chip's just like, whoa, parkour. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so we've come to the conclusion that Mel is not an angel. <laughs> Still several more Sam Towers along this canyon. Ah, right, here we go. We'll to destroy them before our this is the plane level, which is pretty cool. That bridge is Drake's primary mm. access route across the island, 007. Bring it down. I really wish I'd managed to get the armor earlier. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't manage to get it in time. Hey, switch to the frickin' rockets, thank you. I've lost so much frickin' health from that. <laughs> oh, great, these things are back. Blow it up, big time, blow it up, thank you. I am so not gonna survive this, I've lost so much health already. Unless we get an armor pickup, I'm utterly screwed. <laughs> I'd rather you didn't, if I'm honest. I can't shoot that, by the way, just to make that very clear. What is shooting me? Nothing, okay. Oh, for God's sake, where's some armour? I really need armour, I'm literally about to die. Yep, I knew you were coming. That was obvious. Whew. I wish I could do parkour. Ah, you can do parkour, you'll be fine. Yeah, nice. I am still concerned at my health though, but nice. Did that actually kill it? That didn't kill it. Oh, I can't look behind me for Christ's sake. Please come out in the open. Thank you. Yeah, nice. You're going to dive? No, don't dive. <laughs> not right now. It's not a good time to be diving. Oh, health. No, it's not health, it's a boat. Damn it, I thought it might be health. Oh well. So much for uh, hoping for health. Right, if we're going to turn around and shoot these boats, can we get on with it? Right, now, can you turn around so I can shoot this plane? Nice, alright. 
I don't know how we're somehow still alive at this point, I'll be honest, but we are still alive. Please kill it. Thank you. We are running quite low on rockets, actually. I didn't realise how low we were on rockets. That's a bit worrying. Ah, yep. my health has just not okay right now. Great. Looking great. Look at that health. If we have anything else that these rockets were screwed, because I've got no rockets left. Oh, please tell me that's the end. Oh, no. We are so screwed. <laughs> no, I can't kill that. <laughs> I cannot kill that. I have no rockets for it. Good work so far, Ah, oh, damn it! I was right at the end. I think as well. Uh, tell you what, we'll uh, use more of the behind. other shots. I think. That bridge is Drake's primary access route across the island, 007. Bring it down. Indoor parkour, eh? <laughs> totally. I can't remember if there was no any of that. Right, I know there's a turret thing that's going to come up in a minute. I just can't remember when it comes up. Right, there it is. Okay, good. Alright, shoot it now. Shoot it right now. Nice. Okay, and then we just need to blow that up with some rockets. And soon, we should be able to use our machine gun. In fact, we're going to use it now. Because we can use it on this lot. I'll drop us down to those trucks. I like the way that McCaw feels proud to be dropping us down to these trucks. Meanwhile, I'm like, I'd rather you just flew past them. <laughs> Be much easier. The best fail in a vehicle level I've ever seen. <laughs> what? Flying into a turret because you've got no freaking <laughs> rockets left. Yeah, it's about right. Okay. I've got to conserve the rockets. Must conserve the rockets. Right, I think... Yeah, it's planes, isn't it? If I could aim inwards, that would be great, and I would love it if it would stop aiming downwards with this thing, or up in the air above the planes all the time. Come on. Hey, buddy. God, this is difficult to do. Hey! Whoa! I'm going right. to die. Hold on. <laughs> So difficult. How am I supposed to hit that? <laughs> we'll just have to wait and come back. Right, I think we can use some rockets on these. We do have quite a few rockets in all fairness. I might use some rockets on these planes actually. Thank you. You uh, get the rockets out. Whew. No, don't aim at the freaking plane. Could have blown up the other thing. Right, 
<laughs> that thing literally just hit the cliff. I saw that. There we are. There's the other one. There it is. Okay, hang on. Time to do this. There we go. Alright, this time we should actually have some rockets to be able to take out what we need to take out with rockets, because otherwise we're screwed. So that's helpful. You survived? Wow. I'm amazed. Okay, right, we could actually take out the turret this time. Good. We might actually be able to complete this. <laughs> Hello. You blew me up last time and I wasn't impressed by that. <laughs> Right, yeah, we literally were right at the end of the level as well. <laughs> oh, that is sad, isn't it? Oh, good, look at all these things. That looks fun. Hang on, we're going down. I mean, that looks like quite a smooth landing, if I'm honest, but here we are. <laughs> what can I say? A nice, easy landing. Right, now this bit, I'm pretty sure you just get on a big turret and it's great fun it's all great fun well i'll hold them off alora you find a way to disable this contraption i like the way that they didn't even really answer there how on earth they managed to get in this turret all of a sudden but there we go i guess <laughs> Get so many double O moments for this. This is like the only time where you actually see tanks in this. amount of double O moments you get is ridiculous and I'm nearly dead. I'll place some charges at the base of the weapon, but what? you only have a short time to get out before the whole thing blows. Oh don't worry about that, I'm already dead. <laughs> I'll hold them off, Alora. You find a way to disable this contraption. Can I um So what is this? Okay, so there is another mode for this. I'm not sure what it does, but there is another mode. I'll try it in a minute. I'm curious to see if it's more effective on the tanks. Right, now the tank spawns in a minute, so I want to see what this does. Oh my god, okay, that is pretty effective. this out again. Oh, okay, that kind of hurt a bit. I've discovered a weakness, James. I'll place some charges at the base of the weapon, but you'll only have a short time to get out before the whole thing blows. Switch the weapon. Thank you. And there we are. Alright. James Bond vs Harry Potter Who Wins Mr. Bean. Interesting. I love a good irony. Hey, we'll take the bronze, why not? I have to say that kind of feels like a bit of a rushed ending to that level, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you get in this super OP turret, you blow up everything, she then puts a bomb on the thing, and then you just magically, really quickly get out of that thing and leg it, and then it just ends. It feels really strange. <laughs> it just kind of doesn't feel like it's quite connected, you know. It feels rushed through a bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but it feels rushed. Eh, who knows. 
Anyway, right, we've got two more levels. So we've got Countdown and then we've got Equinox. Now, Equinox is a super awesome level. Countdown, to be fair, has some good parts in it. Um, I'd say the second half of Countdown, from my memory, I think is the better bit. But yeah, Equinox is a really fun level. Right, let's go. That was one way of uh, wording it there, Fly. Here we go. So this is where we get to finally fight Vrook and also Kiko. Oh god, yeah, I forgot you start with this, don't you? The uh, incredible thing. Oh, the remote mine's actually pretty cool. Hey, my gold gun's back. Feels like a century since I last saw you. Feels way too long since I last saw you. and nick his gun but it didn't really work out really the alarm was raised by who <laughs> who the hell raised the alarm i literally killed both of them there was nobody else there surely all oh, right fair enough <sighs> so i have to take so long to reload it right okay come on then I've just pushed the wrong freaking button and now I've just thrown a grenade. Fabulous. Might as well uh, just casually do that. <laughs> oh, why did I just push R2? It's R1 to shoot, not R2. It's weird. I've been playing this for what, now like about three and a bit hours. You would have thought I would have got the uh, controls fully in my head by now, but nope, I still haven't managed to do that. Still haven't done it. I'm not sure if there is actually anything up here, but I'll attempt to have a look. Is there anything up here? I'm not sure. No. Wait, is it literally just where you come from? Oh yeah, it is. I thought I came from over here. The hell? <laughs> I did. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Okay, but anyway. Hi, guys. Yeah, look at that under... Oh, I was going to say look at that under the ocean, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Bond may have penetrated our security. <laughs> Lock down the sector at once and deactivate all access codes but my own. Right away, Miss Hashi. I'm going to do a full sweep of this facility. Remain at your post and stay alert. Understood, Miss Hayashi. James, I've hacked into the terminal and got access to their internal systems. A lot of it has been locked out, but I can access the security cameras. Kiko is our only option. She's locked out all of the clearances. You'll need to find her and stay close. Nothing says, uh, like raising the arm than cooking a grenade. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, there's loads of grenades there. Shame I can't use any, because if I do, then we're screwed. Oh. Now. 
Is this going to end up being a trick and it's going to be the green one? No, it isn't going to be a trick. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm happy it wasn't the trick. Right. <laughs> and you thought you could get away with it. And the answer is no. Alright, let's keep moving. No smoking. Remember that. No smoking. I'm looking at you, Chip. No smoking. <laughs> you might be smoking ice cream for all I know. Can't be doing that now. It's against the rules, Chip, to smoke ice cream. Oh my god, it really lags, doesn't Kiko it, when you do that? In corridor A8. I don't know if it's a good idea to try and shoot them, but I'll just sneak around them. Go on, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, there's loads of you. Why are there so many of you? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm going to have to go down that corridor probably at some point in a minute. Kiko is in corridor A12 now. Can you stop moving sideways? Thank you. I would throw a grenade at you, but if I do, it'll raise the alarm. <laughs> those security suite cameras remind me of those from Jedi Academy. They are, I suppose. They are slightly similar. Anyone in here while I'm here? I know this is not the right way, but I just want to see if there are actual enemies Kiko in here. Kiko is in corridor A16. James, it looks like Kiko is nearly at the control center. Hurry up. I am going as fast as I can, Alora. It's not as simple as it looks. But his arse is going to be very painful in the morning. <laughs> Just remember that much. There we are. Can I... Hmm. Actually, I should keep the silence on. Uh, puts the ice cream in a hurry and sets fire to the whole field. Cough, cough, wasn't me. Yeah, that's pretty sus. I agree with Mel on that one. That does sound pretty sus. <laughs> Don't know. I have my suspicions of you, Chip. <laughs> the launch timetable has been moved up. I'm placing the security system into full lockdown. Clear and seal the room. We cannot risk anyone tampering with the control settings. It's a good thing that I'm in the room then. <laughs> See you later, Kiki. How would she not notice me just sitting right here? Come on, you would be able to see James, that. James, see if you can find some way to disrupt the base's security systems. Well, oh, there is another one. Okay, fair enough. And... Boom. Yeah, not to worry. It's not like the whole room is blown up or anything. I'm sure they won't notice. You'll need to get through that door to Delta Sector. Hurry, James. Oh my god, how many of you want to come in here? Oh my days! 
<laughs> There's a lot of you. Well, I should get quite a bit of ammo from that. I really should have gone into that weapons room earlier before blowing up all this, but oh well, I'll do it in a minute. Alright, where's my decryptor? There we go. Tut tut, oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> yes, indeed, Chip is in trouble. Oh dear. <laughs> can just imagine it now. It's just Phil sitting in a corridor. Mrs. Doris, could have sworn I heard a chip in here, but blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, is that the grenade launcher gun? I think it actually is. Hang on a minute. I am sure... Oh, it is the grenade launcher gun. This thing's awesome if it is what I think it is. Yeah, it's the grenade launcher gun. This thing's so freaking cool. Okay, I'm looking forward to using this. This is an awesome weapon. Right, come on then. Bring it on. <laughs> Somehow he's worked his way into the complex. The elite guards will hold the line. I'm going below to cut the power so he can't follow. But if Bond does reach the facility, I'll be sure to thank him for the makeover he gave me. It's been a while since I last saw you, Brook, and to be fair, other than blowing you up in a helicopter, I have to confess that I did get the chance to do something really cool. Which was, um, well, you know, <laughs> watch you uh, casually <laughs> get stuck in a door for ages. Which was pretty funny, I have to admit. Oh my god, I think I found Brook. Maybe. Have I found Brook? Maybe I haven't found Brook. I thought I found Brook. Jesus Christ. Chill out. Ooh. Oh, bloody door. Why would you make interact on this? Interact and reload the same button. It's painful. There's a guy behind me. Brilliant. Alright. Henchmen looks cool. Yeah, the henchmen do look cool, actually. Jesus Christ. Where did you come from? How are you still alive? <laughs> go, go, go. My god, my man is a bullet sponge. Jesus Christ. Right, where is he? Oh! I like the way they say fall back. If anyone needs to fall back, it's me, not them. <laughs> Come on. That's better. Ah, oh, here we go. I can't reload because. Uh, oh, sh shit. Hello, Brooke. You look, um. Oh! <laughs> And he's dead. Ah, right, well that's the end of Rook. He is now dead. I hope you enjoyed the epic boss fight with Rook. Which was mostly just me using a laser gun and absolutely wrecking the man. But I hope you enjoyed the boss fight with Rook. <laughs> it was a good boss fight.
Anyway, I think we can all agree that Chip has been a bit of a dodgy person. <laughs> Very dodgy of you, Chip. Very dodgy of you. Oh, I, I love this laser gun. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I took the sports bottle full of G and T to my high school. Leave as assembly. <laughs> I've been in deep shit if the teachers had searched the bag for any reason. I mean, you say that, but to be honest, it's not that big a deal. I mean, come on, you took it to the leavers party. Who cares? Where's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Bloody guns overheated. Hmm. Yeah, somehow didn't think I was going to get away with that. Wow, that still managed to hit me in here. Really? Can't see a thing, so don't mind me. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> right in the balls. <laughs> he gets to see again, and he takes one shot, and it goes right in the balls. There you go. That's oh my god. Okay, uh <gasps> Really? That still hurts me. Well, there's not much I can do about it. Oh my god. Wow, how far back do they want you to stand? That's insane. Any enemies? Yep, <laughs> there are enemies, alright. Oh Jesus Christ, are they? He could have warned me, he just rounded me, he's like, hello. <laughs> he did the Grand Inquisitor from the OB-1 series. Hello. <laughs> oh, God. That still is funny to this day. Hello. He has a lot of stories of the past, do you, Mr. Chip? A lot of stories of the past? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, what am I? Why can't I just go through that door? I literally know where it goes now as well. Oh, well, at least we got some armor. Right, let's go. This energy weapon is pretty cool. I just kind of wish it could shoot a bit faster. That would be nice. Right, well this doesn't feel like an ambush. Yep, there we go. Right, okay. Oddly satisfying sound, this gun. Oh, brilliant. Not to worry. Oh, wow, okay, he doesn't throw grenades far, does he? Reload, reload. Well, I say reload. Under heat. <laughs> there you go. And just do that. And shut the door. Right. 
Right, what was that about a trivia question? Use this trivia question, folks. Which uh, watch model is Bond's watch based on in this game? Uh, don't know. A blurry one. <laughs> no, I don't know. I guess probably the one from Die Another Day, maybe? Yeah, it probably was Die Another Day, because Die Another Day was the movie coming out roughly at the time that this game came out, I'm pretty sure. So it's probably that one. He asked for that. Ow, how did that hurt me? I'm behind the door. Alright, it's just gonna casually do this. I don't know which watch model it is, but I assume, like I said, it's probably based off the one from Die Another Day. Because, like I said, this game definitely came out pretty much near the same time period as Die Another Day did. So, that's my guess, whatever watch he was using in Die Another Day. Which could have been anything, because <laughs> I can't remember. Oh. Come on. How are you still not dead, mate? Jesus Christ. Takes quite a few hits, doesn't he? It's not like he's wearing the most incredibly over the top bulletproof armor or anything. I mean, come on, I've got a laser beam. Um, can I? Thank you. Uh, is it Casino? Oh, it's Casino. Is it Casio? Who knows? My loyal associates, before we cross into the void of space, it's time to unveil the final stages of Operation Nightfire. The utter transformation of the planet you'll soon view from your shuttle windows. The communists, socialists, and fascists were predestined to fail in their efforts at globalization. The answer is sublimely simple. A corporate takeover by Phoenix International on a worldwide scale. No more national boundaries, but continent-wide regions of agriculture, industry, energy production, and research. Quarreling governments are replaced with a single board of directors. Alright, I think we've got most of them. Just not this guy. Unfortunately, our security has been temporarily breached. Therefore, I've advanced our launch schedule. All flight crews and combat units are to board their shuttles at once and prepare for liftoff. Operation Nightfire has begun. Yeah, Operation Nightfire has begun. Door unlocked. Nice. This is actually a multiplayer map, this as well, in this game. It's actually quite a fun multiplayer map, but usually there's like an actual like bit in the middle here that you can jump onto. But it's a really cool multiplayer map. Who's shooting at me and where are you? Wait, oh, well, there. Alright. Go. Let's got rid of him. <laughs> this gun is just so OP. I love it. Oh, hello. Interesting spot for you to be sitting. I didn't think you would be sitting that spot, to be brutally honest. But there we go. There. See, you've got a cool little swimming pool here. Wee! I have no idea why it's here in this uh, specific level, but it is a really cool little area in the multiplayer map, of course. It's super helpful as well, because if you miss the jump onto the middle platform, then uh, 
Well, you've got a swimming pool to land in to help save you a little bit. I just saw that guy pop in out of the blue. I saw that. You can't hide that from me, mate. Ooh, grenades. Right, I need to remember how the hell to even do this section, because I'll be honest, I can't remember fully how to do it, but... Vaguely. Yeah, you can't do that one, and you can't do this, can you? Yeah. Right, here we go. Kiko time. me just running in here to stay alive. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. I wish I was experiencing Kiko time. <laughs> oh dear. All right, you can talk to John about watches instead. There you go. Oh god, it's a ninja. Get me out of there. Hi, Kiko. Please kill the ninja. It's hopeless, James. I'm not beating Kiko, it's fine. Don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, see you there, Kiko. <laughs> Lift off in 30 seconds. I like the way she just stands there as well. She's just like, yep, chill. Lift off in 20 seconds. Anyway, I'm just going to go stand in here. <laughs> What a great consolation. Four, <laughs> two, Indeed. One, you are correct, eight, John. You are correct. Hey, you might as well talk about watches with Chip and maybe Mel and Enlad and Fly. Let's talk about what cool watch you could get after a rocket launches. There you go. In the Mega Sector. Oh, there... No, there aren't two ninjas. Good. Just the one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Freaking stop overheating all the time, it's really annoying. Damn you, Bond. See you later, Kiko. <laughs> I like the way she just does this, and she doesn't even remotely think for a second that maybe he could just, you know, do what she did earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's literally all he has to do. She doesn't even think about that, even for a second. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> anyway, there you go. It would appear that um, Kiko got a bit toasted. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So that was Countdown. And then we've literally just got the last bit, which is with Drake. And this level was actually really cool. This is like one of those levels in a James Bond game that you always kind of wanted when you were younger, but you never really got. 
And this finally became a reality with this game where you could actually go into space and probably float around and fight enemies in space. It was really cool. I loved this level. Uh, Very unique for a James Bond game at the time. And actually, I'm trying to think if they even did anything in space again after that in a James Bond game. I'm not sure they ever did. Um, I can't really remember everything or nothing that well. It was the one game out of the bunch that I didn't really play as much. Um... I don't think it did anything in space. I'm pretty sure it didn't. So, yeah, I know From Russia with Love doesn't. So, yeah, honestly, I think this was the only one that did it. It was kind of weird. <laughs> MOG Drake's in this game with his friend Josh. <laughs> Bloody hell, Fly is coming up with all manner of Kiko jokes, isn't he? (laughs) Oh dear. Everyone's coming up with freaking Kiko jokes. Right, anyway, let's go with the last level, shall we? This is a great level. I love this level. Here we go. Space level time, space time. You're on a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But tinker with my missiles if you must. You'll make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles. You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. I'll credit you with persistence, Mr. Bond. Persistence and failure. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. I'll let them finish you off. Remember that view, Mr. Bond. It's the last you'll ever see of Earth. Thank you. Anti-gravity walking, bring it on. Indeed, and now every- oh my god, okay. uh, uh. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. You've done it, James. The missile went out of control. Operation Nightfire can't be stopped. Soon the only nuclear card on the table will be mine. There are far more missiles to disarm than seconds on the clock. Oh my god, there's a the lot of you. The missile is fueling. It's about to launch. Yeah, I'm working on that. Too late, James. We've lost. Too late? What? I just blew up the rocket. How did that... Surely it didn't fail. I don't believe it. How did that fail? I totally blew up that rocket in enough time. Alright, fine. (laughs) I'm hearing heavy mouth breather. You are indeed. That is the way it works in space. I don't know how that supposedly failed. I totally destroyed that in enough time. Persistence and failure. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. It's going to take some time to realize. Oh, gosh. I'll let them finish you off. Oh, I will remember the view, Drake. Don't you worry, my friend. James, the missile launch couple has exposed. If you later them, you should be able to cripple the missiles. You've done it, James. The missile went out of control. Ow. Operation Nightfire can't be stopped. <laughs> Soon the 
missile went out of control and hurt me. Give me compliments. <laughs> Why not join me? James, that last missile blew the power regulators. Drake's laser has gone into meltdown. Warning, potion overload. James, if that power core goes, the whole base will become unstable, especially with Drake firing that laser. Good work, James. The missile flew off course. <laughs> Right, only three more missiles. And we're done. Right, and then I have to kill him, and then that's the end of it. Come on, Drake. Feel free to try and rise. <laughs> it's starting to break up. James, you must hurry. The laser has gone into overload, James. Drake's lost control of it. It could blow any second. And there he is. Yet, mate. Got him, and there he goes. Bye. And that's the end of Drake. He's a dead man. And there you go. Whew. Offensive missiles, they ain't gonna say something sexist, are they? Oh, Chip just called a, got called a boomer. <laughs> oh. To be fair, I wouldn't mind a car that could go underwater, it'd be pretty cool. I think that would be awesome, actually. Imagine having a car that could just drive in any lake, any sea, anything. It would be pretty damn awesome. I would love that. Hell yeah, I'd be so totally for it. Oh well, yeah, you get all the like behind the scenes of how they literally made Nightfire. There you go. That's how they made it. It's pretty cool, actually. Sadly, I can't unmute this for you, though. I'm afraid it's got James Bond music in the background, so it's copyrighted. <laughs> but you can at least watch it.
it's quite cool how like back in this time period of 2002 you know mocap really started to really take off and become a bit more of a thing i think it was in the year roughly 2000 that mocap was pretty much introduced altogether but you know it's cool to see it actually being used properly in this sort of way i like it Obviously, mocap's come a hell of a long way now, but still, it's super cool. <laughs> Mel, you've just got in trouble with uh, Chip. Must feel pretty awful. <laughs> wonder if there's a person out there called mocap <laughs> maybe there might well be you never know <laughs> it's a shame that this video doesn't have any you know subtitles or anything on it like all the others do so you can actually hear what the people are saying <laughs> but oh well oh dear I have to say, I'm somewhat surprised at the lack of memes from you lot inside of the Discord today. Normally you lot go a bit, you know, all out with that. So I'm surprised you didn't. Just a lot of ice cream instead today. Lots of ice cream. <laughs> Nightfire. Oh, and this has a really good song as well. And you lot can't hear it. <laughs> this song, Nearly Civilized, is actually a really awesome song. I highly recommend, actually, if you haven't have a, never, ever even listened to that song at any point. Although, if you played Nightfire, you would have had a bit of it, at least. You should listen to it. It is a really good song. Nearly Civilized. It's a really awesome song. Really awesome song. But, yeah. And lads running off. He's got a ball game. Nice to see. But yeah, no, I'm glad to see it. So uh, no worries, man. I appreciate you coming to the stream. It's always awesome to have you here, as usual. So uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it a lot. And to be fair, you left at the end of the game. So lucky you. <laughs> Good timing. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. do 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 this is a really cool background, actually. Um, this is something that, you know, is actually a pretty awesome wallpaper. I wish it was more high res, but it's an awesome wallpaper. I love it. It's cool stuff. It's cool stuff. Anyway, um, I, by the way, cannot skip this just for your information. We actually do have to watch this. So I'm just going to put the controller there and um, chill out here for a minute. <laughs> Anyway, we did actually make it through the entire game today for Nightfire in one go, which is really impressive. We did it in, what, three hours, 57? Not bad, so just under four. That's pretty good, actually, just under four hours. I'll take it. Not bad at all. Yeah, I would say that Nightfire, having not played this now for quite a while now, actually, it has been a little while since I last revisited this, it's still a really awesome game. You know, I love this game still. Playing it today was great fun. There are definitely certain levels that have not aged that great compared to others. And in the case of the underwater submarine level, that just never, ever had any chance of aging well. And to be brutally honest, it wasn't particularly nice to begin with when it was first ever in existence back in the days. <laughs> but still... You know, I would say that this game still holds up to this day. It's still an awesome James Bond game. It's a great James Bond experience. I truly couldn't recommend it more to people to try out and play. You'll love it. I think you will. Sure, the controls are a bit dated in places, but it's a good game. It's very fun. And, um, yeah, well, honestly, I like this game. I think it's a great game. The first sort of, I would argue roughly half of the game I think is probably accurate hang on let me have a look I was going to say roughly the first half let me see I'll tell you what I can do I can do that 
Um, let's see, the first half. So, let me look at this. Uh, tutorial missions, alright. That's a really good level. That's an alright level. That one I like. That one's a really good level. That one's a good level. That one's a really good level. That one I quite like too. So, I'd say it's like just over half because that's the halfway point level. Then, here it's a really, you know, good game, good, a good level, even still. So I'd say up to there, Phoenix Fire is where the game is pretty much peak and awesome all round. There's nothing really bad at that point. So then when you get to this sort of point with Deep Descent, which is not a good level, <laughs> that's an awful level. Um, Island Filtration is alright. It's nothing too special, this one, but it's alright. I think, to be fair, the plain part is quite cool. The rest of it, mm, not that brilliant. Countdown... Yeah, I still think from what I said earlier when I said the second half of the level is actually quite cool. It is. I think the second half of the level is better than the first for the most part. Um, and then the last level is obviously a really good level. I like this level still to this day. So yeah, I'd say that there's like three levels that are not the best, but they're all right. Except for Deep Descent. But otherwise, yeah, they're all right, these two. This one... No, <laughs> I don't like that level at all. That level's just awful. Um, but yeah, you know. Overall, I would argue this game still is great fun and holds up for the most part to this day. And I think you lot should go and play it. <laughs> Honestly, go and play it. You'll love it. I promise you'll love it. But yeah, so this was the first James Bond game that we've ever, ever covered on this channel. And to be fair, I always wondered whether it would be something that people would enjoy seeing James Bond on this channel at all or not. It's something that I've always like questioned. Is it something that people would get along with? Is it something that people would kind of just brush to the side? But when you had to kind of, I guess, guess which game out of the bunch would be the one that people would probably care more to see and actually care more about, it was always going to be either Nightfire or Goldeneye. And to be honest with you, Goldeneye unless you play the Xbox or Switch port now, um, which is not perfect, by the way, that port, then it's a pain in the arse to play that game anymore, if I'm honest. So it's just not really worth trying to deal with that one unless you play it on those two ports anymore, really. So, yeah, in all honesty, I think, to be fair, I picked the right choice. <laughs> I think I picked the right one. Nightfire is definitely a good game and one that deserves it. There are plenty of other James Bond games that I really like, though. You know, uh, Everything or Nothing is a decent game, to be fair. It's not the perfect game. I would say some of it is good, some of it is a bit meh. From Russia With Love is an awesome game. That's one that I really do enjoy a lot. Uh, Agent Under Fire is a decent game, the prequel to this game. Then... Pff, I mean, Quantum of Solace, I know some people give that quite a bit of hatred, but I personally think Quantum of Solace is a decent game. It's most, well, yeah, mostly Casino Royale, basically. Uh, but it's got bits of Casino, uh, bits of Casino, a bit of Quantum of Solace in it. But yes, it's that. Um, otherwise, I mean, the PS1 games are all right. They're a bit dated now, but they're all right. So The World Is Not Enough, for example, and Tomorrow Never Dies, they're decent enough, just dated uh there's that random spin-off game that ea made called golden eye rogue agent which just to make it very clear has got nothing to do with the film or source material golden eye it's entirely to do with a guy that you play as who used to work for mi6 who then goes rogue and becomes evil who just so happens to have a golden eye <laughs> so that's why it's called golden eye and then the rogue agent bit that game, in all honesty, from my memory, when I played it years ago, I haven't played that for so many years, but when I did play it, it was very action-y, you know, it's basically all just run and gun the whole time, and I think, really, like, the first level, at best, is interesting, but then the rest of it is just so repetitive that it's not really worth it. <laughs> it had a good soundtrack, I remember that much, but the game itself, not great. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then of course there's just some of the other ones like Bloodstone, 
Uh, I think it's called Bloodstone. Then there's the Golden Eye. I really don't know what to call it, really. I know it's called GoldenEye Reloaded or something, but it's effectively like a sort of... I'll call it a soft reboot, if you like, of GoldenEye, because it's not the exact same as the original GoldenEye. It's changed. But it's effectively meant to be like it. And then there's 007 uh, Legends, which is a intriguing title, <laughs> to say the very least. It's... Certainly something. But yeah, um, we haven't had a James Bond game since then. However, I do know, and I think most people are aware now, that there is a James Bond game being made by the guys who make the Hitman franchise. So that is, I think, their next game now, the James Bond game they're doing. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what those guys have come up with. It'll be interesting to see if they're doing their own unique concept for a game, as in like their own story, their own Bond, stuff like that or whether they're going to follow on a particular Bond actor like Daniel Craig, or if they're going to do a story related to the movies and things. I don't know. We don't really have any info on it. But it'll be interesting to see what they do, because if there's any company by today's standards who could probably handle James Bond, it would definitely be those guys. I mean, look at the Hitman series. I think that kind of explains it all, really. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do. I will be curious as to how in depth that sort of game is going to be given that you know if you look at something like hitman these days it's quite an in-depth game you know there's lots of different ways you can play a level lots of different ways that you can uh take out your target things like that there's a lot to hitman's so i feel like if they take that sort of idea and put it into a new bond game they could do quite a lot with that actually and i think they could really execute it in a really cool way so then you could probably have a game that has multiple different outcomes and different endings stuff like that you can really make something quite cool out of that so i'm hopeful that they'll do something along those lines but we'll see they haven't spoken about that game now for like i think it's been about four years now since they announced it so don't know how it's getting on don't know when it's planning to come out but yeah at some point we'll get one from them <laughs> i don't know if anybody else is making james bond with content for games i doubt it considering the movies have kind of just stopped at the moment but yeah i guess we'll have to wait and see won't we we'll have to wait and see but i don't know <laughs> i really don't know Either way, that's all we have currently to look forward to when it comes to James Bonds, when it comes to new related content, new James Bond games. But otherwise, we have the old games for the time being. Anyway, I guess um, we'll see what we can do for some other things um, with James Bond maybe in the future. I'll say this much. If James Bond, this stream does quite well on the channel and people enjoy it and people say they would like to see some more james bond and we might look at some of the other games however of course if this doesn't perform too brilliantly and things then we probably won't look at the other james bonds anytime soon so we'll see what happens but yeah i will leave it i guess in the viewer and subscribers hands regarding the james bond franchise for games either way it was nice to come and play this. It was nice to cover it. So at least in my opinion, even if we don't look at James Bond ever again, we've got, to me, the best James Bond game on the channel. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, I guess when it comes to the next stream and what we'll do, I think we might do part two of Chamber of Secrets PS2 for the next one. I don't want to leave that on a cliffhanger for too long. So we'll probably end up doing that. If we don't do that, then we might take a look at something a little bit different. It also depends now that Winch has come back. I know he's back in the UK now. But now that he's come back, it depends when I might potentially have him here. Because as soon as he comes here, of course, then you'll see that there'll be a stream with him and me. So that'll probably end up being Amnesia the Bunker or something. So in that case, of course, that will take priority. But it's completely random at the moment as to when he might appear here. So I can't really say. <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, 
so yeah, I think it'll probably be Jamie Seacrest PS2, so that's what I'm going to go with right now. Otherwise, before ending everything here, um, oh, I can't answer this question. Did they fix the Battlefront Classic Collection yet? Uh, they haven't done any more updates for it on PC. They finally got the first update out that we got on PC before all the console lot um, by two weeks. Uh, <laughs> you console lot finally got it two weeks later, the update. Yeah, it took two weeks for you to get the update. Um, so it's improved, I think, on consoles a bit more now. It's still not great and it's still pretty broken, but yeah, pfft. It's all right, I guess. It's better on PC, ironically, now than it is on consoles, which is quite funny. Um, but anyway, yeah, I know that they did mention Aspire that they've already begun hard work on update two, and that should be quite a big update as well for the game. So I'm going to assume that update two will come, at least for PC users, don't know about your console users, but for PC lot probably at some point this month i'll be surprised if it doesn't but either way i would argue it'll be good to obviously have that update and fix you know what's broken there but in a lot of ways i don't know if i care too much now because i've kind of got no particular reason to go on the battlefront collection at the moment i kind of did everything i needed to for you lot i guess the only things that we haven't done are like the battlefront 2 campaign um i didn't cover that for you thought maybe we'll look at that from the classic collection but yeah i mean other than that there's really not much else for me to cover for you guys on that right now um maybe i'll come back to it at some point i guess in the future but for the time being there's not really much to go back to for me anyway but we'll see we'll see we'll see uh anyway what i was gonna say is next week you guys have something quite exciting on the way so first of all thank you all for the awesome support with the extended mod series which has done really well i like to add that everyone keeps thinking that the extended mod series is now over with the video i had released yesterday it's not over there are still bonus parts that are coming out for it i believe there's five videos i think there's five videos or bonus bits for the extended mod still to come out so that is not finished yet <laughs> need to stress that the main story is done yes but there's still more to come <laughs> anyway those things are going to come out over the coming weeks however on monday next week i am releasing the first fix video for pc game fixes of this year um and that is lord of Rings: return the king so yes, Lord of the Rings Return of the King PC game fix will be coming out on Monday and that will go in a lot of depth basically on how you can fix up Lord of the Rings Return of the King's PC port and make it the best it could possibly be on PC today. And of course some of the major things in it that you'll love and everyone should love quite frankly are getting the ability of course to have any resolution you want on the game and also having an unlocked frame rate in the game so you can play at like 120 frames on return of the king now if you wanted to and by the way that feels incredible just for your info <laughs> i've played it through like that it's really nice uh the other things as well of course you've got window mode frame rate counters if you want that stuff like that but anyway yeah there's a fix for lord to return of the king on pc now and it's giving you lot of something that didn't exist before in particular with the unlocked frame rate no one else has figured that out so there you go anyway you'll get that on monday and hopefully that'll keep everyone quite happy for a little while there will be other fixed videos on the way i might add it's just i haven't planned exactly when they're coming yet the other one that is already made and is up on the channel but won't release until the series is out is definitely how those part one i.e hp7's fixed video which of course goes into things like uncapping the frame rate in that game on the PC port so you can play at 120 frames if you want, etc. As well as like higher aspect ratios, window modes, stuff like that. But like I said, that video won't come out until the end of the Definitely Have Those updated series for HP7. Which will come out and start releasing after the extended mod bonus parts so basically you're going to get return to king's fix on monday then i'm going to release on thursday i believe it is the next part of the extended mod which is going over the library and then over the next week you will have three extended mod videos then the week after you're going to have the last part of the extended mod and then probably 
you're gonna have to definitely have those series start releasing but if not there might be something else to fit in between the extended mod and the definitely how those series release it just to break up the hp cap a tiny bit uh but yeah there you go that's kind of the schedule if you like for videos right now um there's <laughs> an interesting schedule compared to what we normally would have i guess but either way don't you worry you can actually get some really cool fixes now for these games on pc thanks to our little team going around and fixing them for you so there's a lot of stuff that will improve the games for you and like i said there are other fixed videos in the works so quidditch world cup hp5 hp6 hp8 uh, hp4 i forgot about that one um outside of that probably at some point soon the hobbit you know there's other things but either way, there is stuff coming. It takes me a bit of time to sit down and make the videos. I will not deny it. But yes, they are being made. And you've got two on the way at the very least. Maybe three if you're lucky. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should be able to play all these games really cool. And in the best possible way soon. So there you go. Either way, that was the big thing I kind of wanted to mention at the end there. But yeah. <laughs> Either way... I think that's pretty much everything I kind of wanted to mention regarding series and things going forwards right now. So pretty much the only other thing I can say is stream-wise, there might well be a stream with Winch at some point soon. Don't know when yet, but whenever he's here, that'll happen. And like I said, he's now back in the UK, so I'm sure we'll probably meet up at some point soon and he'll come here. And then you'll get to see some, well... Really me enjoying myself chilling out and watching Winch suffer while playing Amnesia the Bunker, which will be quite fun and I'm looking forward to that. So there you go. <laughs> That's kind of the way it goes. But yeah, I don't think there is anything else to go over. So I think we'll leave it there. Either way, I appreciate everybody that came by the stream today. It was awesome to cover James Bond Nightfire. It's an awesome game still. I'm glad I got to play this for you lot. And I appreciate everybody coming by and chilling out and chatting away. And I guess enjoying some James Bond. It's a shame about the fact that the music, of course, had to be turned off. And the fact that the cutscenes all had to be muted because of the music. But, you know, you at least got some subtitles with those, I suppose. That's better than nothing. But either way, that's really all I have to say. So, thanks again, everyone. And I will see you all next Saturday. So, see you all later. Bye.